Hey there, and welcome to the Max Not Binary. I'm Max, and today we're back with our second day of streaming Don't Starve. We have got to day 17. Our poll is closed. And now I can't see it. Hello there, Max. Let's pause you for a second. And let's have a quick look. What did people vote for? Manage. No, not that. 79% of the money went on yes. Mm, we'll see. I'm glad to see that you have confidence in me. Hello, Purple Nix. Hello, Pixel Eyed Faye. Hello, Nematrek. Welcome in, everyone. We'll see how this goes. Right, what were we doing today? Our um, health and sanity isn't all that. How's our food? Our food's okay, though. Let's have a little look at our map. What do we know about? Wabbit. I saw the wabbit there, yes. So we've got a wabbit in one of our uh, traps. Oh, we were considering burning down the spiders, weren't we? There was quite a lot of clamour to maybe burn down the spiders because apparently they're a bit, um, they're going to be a bit hazardous. I sort of feel that I might well die if I try and burn down the the spiders. Is it a cool map, Pixel Died Fae? I, um, I'm very new to uh, Don't Starve, so uh, let's put the trap back. So this is the furthest I've ever got. Where's that bunny? Murder the bunny. Lovely. Are we doing anything in the crock pot? Let's, let's do something in the crock pot. Do I have any? Oh, I think I keep my... Uh... Oh, this, this recovers our health, doesn't it? So let's put one of those in. Dragon fruit. Um, I haven't really got any other fruits. Oh, that's what we need to do. We need to go and... Um, uh, get seeds dig up seeds so that we can bring them uh not seeds berries so we can bring them back let's go and do that kill them with fire beam indeed this is this is what i was advised to do um with the spiders i couldn't live for three days fair enough this is the furthest i've ever got so we are we are certainly not um experts by any means i guess we'll go up here there's quite a few berry bushes up here and see if we can find one that we can apparently dig up i think i can do it with the shovel i do have a shovel don't i yes i've got a shovel lovely i haven't been grave robbing yet we'll have to go grave robbing at some point how many um logs we have we have a fair number of logs right let's equip the shovel dig berry bush pick up berry bush i mean i'd also like to pick up the berries let's give them to chester cool let's take our berry bush back and see if we can plant it somewhere eyeball plants yeah the eyeball plants are evil eyeball plants they'll attack us but um we planted them the um they spawned near us and um i was once again told to kill it immediately but then it left like a bulb and i was told if i put the bulb uh like here i could use it as defense against um potential uh dog attacks all right so we've got some berries in there uh let's add a pumpkin and we can cook this stuff lovely we could also do with a fire ah we're all right for a minute do they reduce my sanity nematrek Oh, 
Oh, I was told that if I cooked a dragon fruit, it would restore my health to full. There was a down an arrow on my sanity as I walked by. Hmm. See, look. I'm suspicious. Put one dragon fruit, oh, and three twigs. I see, purple necks. Thank you. Let's open the crock pot. Not the morsel, then. We have some twigs. Let's try that. Right, we also need some seeds. Do I have any here? I think Chester's got my seeds. I've got some rot. Oh no, this is the berry bush. Lovely. Let's plant a berry bush. No, I want to plant it. Ah, there we go. Chester? this all of our seeds? It does appear so. Let's fertilise this. Need to pick up more seeds. We apparently don't have enough. Oh! Ooh. Dragon pie. Dragon fruit pie. Right. Oh, you just showed me the thing. Where is it? Nuts. Oh! Nuts! Nuts! I've burnt everything down again. <laughs> Chat. Chat, I burnt everything down again. Oh man, I think just uh, birds, yes. Uh, I mean, I did. I voted for no. Right, let me do the poll. Uh, choose prediction. Choose outcome. The outcome was no. Complete prediction. Yeah. Yes, I am sure that no is the correct outcome. Right, okay. Shall, shall we do a new prediction? Um... So we survived 16 days. Let's start a new one. Will we get past, let's say, let's say day 17. Will we, will we set a new record? There you go. You tried your best. I don't understand why I keep accidentally setting fire to everything. I think it's because I have logs in my hand and then I equip the torch or something. But I also don't understand why the fire chased me so much. Maybe I was holding things that were on fire? I don't know. I don't know. Hello, Neo. I set everything on fire again. Uh, if you would like to predict whether we'd get further than last time, there is a prediction up. Apparently no one has confidence in me this time. Or else they spent all their points on the last one. <laughs> one of the two. Yes, I set everything on fire again. Slightly, accidentally. Here's some berries. How do I vote? Uh, you should be able to just click on the predict and it should bring you up the uh, voting menu, pixel eyed fay. But I can't predict, apparently. And then you use your max value points.
I think this is, uh, although, yeah, for whatever reason, nobody wants to do this one. I think we might do this when we start new runs as a, you know, thing to do. Oh, somebody said we would. Well. Let's see how that goes. What have we got? I need more berries. Are there more berries around the place? Let's pick up some seeds. Because definitely once we started farming, we started to find ourselves a bit short of seeds. There are plenty of bees around. Hello, Stephen. Welcome in. Oh, Straffen. Sorry, Straffen. That is a cool emoji that you have there. Ah, oh, good. Berries. That's what we need. We need some berries. Have I got enough flowers to make a garland yet? No, not yet. Hey, KJ. We've already died. I set everything on fire once again. It's apparently my preferred way to uh, die, is to get myself nice and settled and then set everything on fire randomly. Ah, enter Elysium. Most of his emotes are cat related. Well, I'm always a, a big fan of cat related everything, quite frankly. So, day one, we're just collecting some basic resources and uh, trying to make a flower. I did not starve. No, definitely didn't starve. I mean, to be fair, I don't seem to starve super regularly in this game. I definitely get murdered by things or set myself on fire a lot, <laughs> a lot more than I um, starve, quite frankly. Right, let's make a let's make a pretty flower garland for Wilson. He looks lovely in his flower gar garland. Clay may have mixed up their titles, indeed, considering how regularly I do starve in Oni. What was catching on fire? It is unclear, Straffen, what I how I managed to catch everything on fire. I think that what I do is I have logs in my hand because I'm trying to um, light the fire, but because it's dark, I can't see where the fire is. So then I equip the torch and I think this results in, oh, we best uh, make a ax. Let's chop down a couple of trees. Um, yeah, then I equip the torch and I think I might set the logs in my hand on fire, but it's not entirely clear to me what it is that I do. Oh, you ate that, did you, bird? Fair enough. But yes, primarily I was catching on fire. That appeared to be the problem. Right, so I think we have explored this little area suitably try it now well, maybe right um if i have logs in my hand hang on i need to make a um i need to make a torch let's build a torch right hold logs and then like equip torch Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm lighting the logs in my inventory on fire. I think. I think that's what I'm doing. All right, I think we'll just light everything on fire and start again.
Ah, well, apparently I can light the logs on fire while I'm holding them. No, I was deliberately standing in the fire because we were doing some empirical testing. Ah, well, you see, you learn new things all the time on this stream, even if it's just new ways to murder yourself. No, I'm not going to close out that prediction. That prediction is going to stand. We learned a thing, absolutely. Because I, I don't think the prediction is fair to close out when I deliberately killed myself. All right, then. Let's, let's go again. It seems only fair. All right, Lee, that's fine. You can keep that flower. Bunnies are a bit sort of wild-eyed and starey, even when they're not nightmare bunnies. Ah, uh, it's when I'm trying, uh, Struffin, it's when I have a fire pit and I'm trying to add fuel to it. Um, and I can never find the, uh, the context thing if that makes sense, because it's dark. But I may also still be holding them when I don't need to. Oh no, we'll leave the bees flowers alone. That's fine. of bees around here. What does this little bit of land look like? All right, I see I've walked sort of round to like that. Okay. Oh no, hang on. Right, that's better not confuse myself by turning the map around. Oh, in the first six days, um, the, the tree protector can't appear. I have been murdered by the tree protector at least once in this run, in, in, since we've been playing on stream. I think it's the first time I ever met the tree protector. I don't think I'd seen them before, even though I've played a tiny bit off stream, but not very much. But that definitely makes sense. So what I want to do in these first few days is... Did I spawn two? Hello, Life of Steel. Welcome in. Hope you're well. Oh, yeah, I did spawn the... I don't know if it was a different one or whether, you know, he just respawned somewhere. Right, flower garland, little sanity garland for you. No, don't eat them. Oh, god damn it. Yes, the second was trying to collect pine cones so I could pacify the first one. Yeah, that didn't go so well. So yes, if we can find somewhere quite um, early that we would like to set up base, Chopping down a bunch of trees so that we have a good stash of um, what's it seems like a good idea. Uh, it's not that dark yet. It's okay. Uh, I'm not sure I want to go into the swamp. Like, yeah, there's the tentacle monsters and all sorts of that. 
Let, let's wait a little bit before we start taking on tentacle monsters. I saw a stream in German where the streamer was unlucky enough to spawn a tree guardian the very first night. That is a very unlucky. Um. <laughs> I don't know much German, but oh my god, oh my god, doesn't need any translation. I keep meeting things and being like, chat, is this going to kill me? And chat we keep being like, yes, everything is going to kill you. Run, run. So there's been quite a lot of that going on. Hello, Annabelle. Welcome in. Unfortunately, our long run died with me setting everything on fire again. But we do believe that we've worked out how I do that so that maybe we can not do it in the future. So here we are just having a little forage on our on our first night. We haven't seen anywhere good to set up yet in this one. Here's a nice road. Let's have a little run up this road and see if we can find anything. Now-ish is a good time to set up the campfire. I think what I'll do, rather than a campfire tonight, is we'll make a couple of torches. I'll unequip that for a minute. And then when it gets dark, we'll equip it again and uh, carry on running around tonight. Oh, there's some flowers over here. Oh, no, these are evil ones. I don't want the evil ones. Oh, it's the touchstone. Oh, well, there you go. There we go. We get an extra life. Uh, Merm? Ah! Merms want to attack me. Of course they do. Right. Was it the infantry then? Yes, so apparently the way we do it is... What's that? If um, I have the logs... If I'm like holding the logs and then I switch to the torch, I can set the logs in my inventory on fire and um, then I'm on fire. We discovered that we can also stop that happening by dropping the logs that are on fire and then I start, oh, it's cold. Okay, thank you. And then I stop being on fire. So these are, these are things we have learned. Well, apparently you can light your inventory on fire. I think everyone is kind of surprised about it. Apparently just no one is as cack-handed with their um, with their use of a mouse as I am. So no one had, had realised that you can just set your infantry on fire. <laughs> apparently this is a special me skill. Go away, B. Thank you. Right, this time... Let's make the garland and not accidentally eat the flowers. Everyone lights their campfire before it gets dark. Oh, right, is that what happens? Well, I think you all lack imagination. This is a big pile of nothing over here. It's not very exciting. I love the flower crowns. They make Wilson feel a bit better. Well, we found the touchstone, which is not a terrible thing to have happened quite early on. I think, uh, actually, I think I want to make an axe because I would like to chop down 
at least a couple of trees today so that we can roast some berries up tonight. Ah, there's some good trees for chopping down. Hat is very fetching. Oh, I like the top hat. I don't think I've ever crafted the top hat. Maybe that was why I'd never met the tree protector before then, because um, I'd never really got deep enough in the game for it to spawn. Or very rarely. But we'll definitely chop down some more trees right now. Enjoy your look, pixel-eyed fae. Lovely. Let's have a little look at the map. You're hungry. You're so grumpy. All right, let's try going, like, south uh, east. What time is it? Ah, uh, you can't eat yet. You have to wait. See if we can pick up that road that was down here somewhere past the bees. Ah, oh, yes, look, here's a possible Mephalo home. Hello, bunnies. Do you have any Mephalo with you? Beefalo. Beefalo. I'm never going to learn that, apparently. Oh, not this way. Let's try down here. We like the beefalo. Savannah base, best base. Agreed. This is another large savannah, but we didn't see any beefalo on it have a little investigate of the rest of it. How are we doing for time? We're doing right for time. I mean, bunnies are nice, but I'd like some protection from the, uh, from the, uh, dogs. No. I started a new run with Wagstaff this morning and all I really wanted from the world was a reasonably sized rock biome. Restarted four times already and haven't found it. Definitely the rock biomes seem... Uh, interesting to find. Alright, well we don't want to camp here. There's some spiders next door. Yes, yes, I see you spiders. It's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll ignore the spiders. Oh, you had a boomerang. I think it, the, the boomerang is literally the only way I've ever killed anything like big. How are we doing for time? Okay. We are very hungry. Let's start a campfire. Campfire. Here we go. Lovely. And cook some berries. We've got loads of berries. You stuff your face. Lovely. What we might do 
is when the campfire goes out, now we've had a nice eat, we might um, take our torch and carry on with our exploring. Now it's actually getting night time. A friend can usually be found on or near the road. Ah. Keep calm and carry a torch. Absolutely. Uh, we don't have loads of torch left, so I think what we'll do is we'll build a new torch as well. <laughs> right, I think we'll take our torch and run off down the road now. Because I am still unhappy with the quality of things I have found in order to make my base on. So let's learn more of the map. Even if we don't see very much in the dark, at least um, uh, when we look at the map in the morning, we'll be able to see the um, rocks. Rocks. Um, we will be able to see the sort of biomes that we've run through. So that will be worthwhile. Right, put that away, please. And since we oh, mind the bird, oh my god, it's a whole host of birds. Right, let's let's do our mining down here then. Thank you. Tall bird fortress. Yes, it it appears so. So we're gonna stay down here and let them um, enjoy their their tall bird life up there. Tall birds are super protection against dogs. They like to kill me though. <laughs> Much more aggressive than muffalo beefaloes. Yes, that is true. Should we go and spy it? Run the dogs. <laughs> yeah, look, there's loads and loads of them. Oh, it's fine. I, I don't want to actually come too near you. I just want to run about. Oh, now they're chasing me. I just wanted to look at your fortress. I don't want to steal your eggs, all right? We're not here to steal your eggs. There we go, good. I love the bonk sound they make when they attack. I like that too. It's a very good noise. Right, so we kind of have the stuff that we might need to make a base now. So now it's just about where we want to make a base. I mean, we could make one here in the rocks, quite near the tall birds. We've got the big road. What do we think? Base by the tall birds? We'll have to be a bit careful because um, they do like to murder me whenever possible, so. But we could make our base like maybe sort of here. Bird base. Better brush up on your bird law. Indeed. Small camp by tall birds. Main base in savannah. Bunnies and grass. That is a very good point. We will need the uh, bunny um, food source. Oh, more rocks. Right, let's have a little look at our map. What do we know about? This is massive. 
Look at this. It's huge. I wonder if there were... We didn't see any beefaloes up here, did we? But there is like over here that maybe had beefaloes in. Should we go back and look at the savannah and see if we can find some? You like tall bird base for the one who only eats meat. What do you eat then? Do you eat the tall birds? Oh, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to turn the map off. Because it seems like you'd spend quite a lot of your time hunting, if that's what you're doing. Pigs? Is this a full pig village? It looks like it might be a pig village. Well, pigs and spiders are fighting again. Outhouses. They do look a bit like the outhouses, don't they? But yeah, it looks like a a, a a small pig village. They don't they're they're not as established here. They don't seem to have a farm or anything. I like when the pigs have a farm. Because then you can raid it for food. Which I enjoy. Pig outpost colony, indeed. Oh oh it's the pig king. Hello, pig king. Right, so we found the pig king. I think we'll probably have a camp for the night by the pig king. Doesn't the pig king have a house? Does he just have his like lair that he likes to hang out on? Uh, let's chop down some more trees while we're hanging around. He sleeps right there. Fair enough. I mean, I think if I was the king, I'd want a house. Too big to be eaten by a crow. I mean, you, you have to assume that Charlie only attacks you. since other things seem to make it through the night. <laughs> Pig King likes to hang out and display his magnificence. Fair enough. Can I pick up the tiny obelisks? No. <laughs> Fire. Oh, honestly, you people and your your obsession with fire. Excuse me. There you go. Thank you, Morgan. Let's cook some more berries. Let's have a look at our map. So we got the pig king. Spiders. Birds. I don't know. I, I think tomorrow we'll follow this road and see what else we can find. There's often a second savannah somewhere. I mean, the maps are massive. Maybe we should make a backpack while we're stood here. We can't make a hammer though, can we? What do I need for a hammer? 
rope. No, I probably could make a hammer. Let's make a little science machine. Pig King likes eggs in addition to trinkets. Ah. Right, I'd like to make a hammer so I can knock this down again. But for the hammer, I need some rope. Refine rope. And again, please. I'd also like a backpack. Is it in dress? No, must be in survival? Backpack. Lovely. Right, now I'd like to make a hammer so that I can uh, that moment in Oni when your super coolant bottleneck is gold and you have 120 tons of gold. Right, let's equip the hammer. There we go. I'd like to take my stuff back from my little science machine. But now I have a backpack. Look at this, I'm learning loads of things. Berries. Yes, we need to uh, make sure we... Oh, what is this over here? It's a crank. Let's take the crank thing. We'll also take this axe that's lying around on the floor. Bye, pig. We could do with some more basic resources, because we used some last night. And no wonder, worries, Straffan. I hope your laundry is clean and fresh smelling. These maps are so massive, it's really cool. I'm definitely enjoying this game. I was a bit worried that playing it for like a whole stream or two would be more than I could be bothered with, but actually I've really enjoyed playing it. What is this? What is this? Hello, what are you? Um, do I want to activate Maxwell's door? Yeah, of course I do. Okay. It's a doorway to adventure. If you die during adventure mode, you will return back to this portal where you may restart the adventure. You are about to step into a long, arduous journey to find Maxwell. You will need to survive five worlds, each randomly generated to present a new challenge. You found adventure mode. Shall we go in adventure? Why not? We haven't really made a base here or anything, so let's go. Oh. You can if you just want to see what it's like. Chapter one of five, a cold reception. Oh, this is Maxwell. No, I don't think I need something a little more challenging, quite frankly. <laughs> you can give it a try. If you die, you don't lose anything. You just respawn in your normal... Okay, I have an axe. Oh, I only have an axe. What is this? I have a divining rod. Okay. I lost my stuff, though. Will I get my stuff back? It's also bleeding. Oh, there's a corpse up there. Do you have anything cool, corpse? Oh, you have a boomerang. Excellent. No, no, no. Pick up the boomerang, Maxwell. Yes, it's all waiting for you back in uh, in survival mode. Let's pick up the ashes. Uh, 
it's manky here. What does this do? I mean, I suppose I might as well walk around with it, since why not? Does it does it have durability? It doesn't look like it. It looks like it just works. Right, I have an axe. Let's pick some carrots, because who knows how long we'll be here. And, um... Well, I haven't seen any berries. I don't think it's, uh... I don't think it's a lightning rod, because you can build a lightning rod. Apparently it's a divining rod, but I don't really know what it does. I'm just walking around with it for fun, really. Would you like a sanity hat, Wilson? Should we build you a sanity hat? That brings back mixed feelings. Oh no. Why do I feel that only bad things are gonna happen? Is the point of the game the survival mode, or is it to find the adventure mode and do the adventure? Hello buddies. There's definitely a lack of berry bushes here. Either or, it's up to you. Fair enough. I've never found the portal before. You do get something out of completing adventure mode, though. Oh, well, that's interesting. I mean, I don't think that completing adventure mode is, is probably on the cards for us. I mean, all things considered. Let's equip the axe for a bit, thanks. Because um, I think we'd like to chop down some trees. No, no, that's that, that's fine. I'd say survival mode. Adventure mode is challenging and teaches you some of the lore, but survival mode is the default game experience. Fair enough. Uh, I think we're searching for someone or something. Because it said there were five... Uh, worlds and we had to find something I think hopefully someone was paying more attention to what it had told me than I was some things fair enough I, I don't read the um the text out in this game because they have their little voices so I've been sort of just leaving their little voices to do the voiceover literally some things fair enough remember the ring thing and the crank thing yes I remember those things are they the sorts of things that we're looking to find here I mean I normally pick them up uh, how are we doing we're doing all right Ooh. This is a new sort of tree. Does fire go out in the rain? I think it goes down quicker if I if I recall correctly. But also it makes Wilson unhappy, I think. It is probably fire time. Yes, torches and fires will go out quicker. There we go. Let's build a little campfire and cook our carrots.
so given that this is adventure mode ah uh -uh, Strafen were you here when we found the portal to adventure mode because now we're in adventure mode which I've never been in before you missed the portal oh yes we went through the portal I don't necessarily know what I'm doing here but here we are It's raining a bit again. Should we make a torch? We might want one. Let's make two. More wood. Uh, oh, what, for the fire? I was actually planning to just, uh, when the fire goes out, light a torch and, and wander off, to be honest. Off we go. Oh, Savannah. Uh, how can someone give me an idea? Did anyone catch the title of the world? Uh, I don't think I did. Oh, hello. So uh, unequip this. Make torch bright for king defend. Oh no, the pigs are mad at me. Pigs are mad at me. What are they protecting? The king isn't here. Uh, yes. Am I... Just the torches. Maybe, yes. Am I going to need a base and all of that? Are we going to be in the world for a long time? again like a backpack we could do is trying to find some gold where's your backpack uh we lost everything when we came through the portal straffen it took everything away from us do i know how to make a backpack still no i have to build the science machine so i have to find some rocks that have gold so we can build the science machine again. Out the way, frogs. What, what was that that I just saw? Oh, it was a frog. Fair enough. How much of the goals of adventure do you want to know? I don't necessarily want to know them. What I'd like to know is whether I'm going to be here long enough that base building and all of that sort of thing is still going to be worthwhile. Oh, are they falling from the sky, Annabelle? Well, that's weird. <laughs> um, yeah, whether base building and all that jazz is still a thing I want to pay attention to. Or whether it, I could literally just run around and fight the things I need. Ah! What? D don't, don't light the carrot on fire. I wanted to eat that. Oh. Ow! Oh, god damn it. Why have I dropped my divining rod? Get off me, frog. Ah. The frogs are stealing my stuff. I need my divining rod. Oh, I can build another one, I guess. Bye, frogs. All I wanted to do was make a nice sanity garland. Instead I got attacked by frogs. Do 
You don't know why it's more entertaining when it happens to somebody else. I mean, I, I think I can probably imagine. So yes, I want to know whether I'm going to want to build a base and all of that sort of jazz here. In adventure world, I would say go minimal. Okay. Still need to find some gold though, because I could really do with the backpack. Let's have a look at the map. What do we know about this world? It's still quite big. It's hard to answer. It really depends on how quickly you find anything, but I definitely go for a science machine. I mean, yes. I have no idea. But you know. We're gonna we're gonna have an investigate and see what we can find. But the first thing I'd like to find is uh, some gold. Because I definitely like a backpack, even if I can't have anything else. Shovel is useful too. Yes. Yeah, I usually like the tools. probably a hammer so I can demolish my science machine and bring it with me in part. Let's have a look. Do we know about this? We do know about this. So let's go over here. Oh, it's the goddamn frogs again. Bugger off, frogs. I think I've been here. Yeah, it looks like I've been here. Uh, well, I got plenty of wood. Yes. Okay, so we know about most of this. Let's go down here. So we learnt about that. That's the way that gets to the um, grumpy pigs. Oh. oh, a torch. Lovely. And some rope. It's all good. I could do with some more food. It's getting late, isn't it? Right. Now! God damn you, frog. I'm definitely having some problems with these frogs, people. Ah, frog. I need to go to the store before it closes, but I don't want to leave. <laughs> you should go to the store. I'm sure that we will um, either be still going or be or come back here when I find the portal again in another game. We definitely need to find the stones. Where might stones be? There's a stone there. I wonder if they're over there. There's these ones in the savannah. But I didn't see any gold ones. Can make several small animal traps and lead frogs to them. <laughs> Thank you, Annabelle. Good luck on your shopping expedition. Well, I suppose we could eat the frogs, yes. Ah, frog. 
Where am I heading? Yes, yes, that's kind of where I want to go. I want to go up here, where there is a boulder, which may be... Uh, okay, your light ran out. Well, that was fine. We got to the daytime. And now I want to head to this boulder here and see what is beyond it. Told frog's legs taste like chicken. I don't know. I must admit, I've never tried them. But they say everything tastes like chicken. I wonder it's whether that is partly because people just have no taste. There's a carrot here. How do I get over there then? Look, there's an over there, but I can't get there. Also, I appear to be too far north for the boulder that I was attempting to head to. Oh, carrot. Lovely. Oh, here's the boulder. It's, it's not spectacularly helpful. It's because machines don't taste know what chicken tastes like, so they make everything taste like chicken. <laughs> Some guy in the Matrix. All right, where can we find gold? This big bit here. Oh good, my divining rod still shows on the map where I dropped it. Let's see about going to this bit here. So we're going to walk... Oh nuts. We are going to walk this way to the road. Hopefully minding out the frogs. And then we're going to follow this road up. Um, I don't have a lot of food. Oh, here's some. I don't have all that many sticks, so I'm happy to pick more up. Oh, this isn't very exciting. Carrot. Yeah, there's definitely a distinct lash of lack of berry bushes. And a distinct lack of an ability to build a science machine. I wonder if I have to go through the pigs? That would be awkward. If I have to go through the pigs. Carrot. Carrot. Uh, let's try this bit right up the north. I suspect there's nothing there, but... Carrot. No, not the pine. Pick the carrot. Q. Oh, good. It's raining again. Is it going to drop frogs on me again? I did not enjoy that. Okay, so nothing here. Let's try this bit. And there's that there. But if it's not in any of that, then it has to be through the pigs. Ugh. Which I'm not excited about. Because the pigs are mad. And I don't really want to fight with them. Not that. Can it rain cats and dogs? <laughs> Maybe posture. Also, welcome in today, posture. I hope you're doing well. Just run, don't fight. Fair enough. B 
but yeah, it's definitely looking like our ability to make a science machine might be dependent on getting through the pigs. Alright, let's go over here. But I want to learn about the map. Especially considering I'm supposed to be looking for things, so... I don't really want to leave. Especially if I then need to actually, uh, what's it? Like, run through the pigs. I don't want to have to run through them multiple times, ideally. So let's uh, get what we can from up here and learn what we can about the map before we head off. Does it rain every night here? Because that's a bit upsetting. Let's get this carrot. All right, so we know pretty much everything up here. Where's my axe? Let's equip that. Grab a divining rod before running past pigs. Seems good plan. I will attempt it. Oh, I don't need that. Yeah, nothing up here. So we've got this little bit here and this little bit here. And then there's the stuff over here to explore. We'll explore this stuff over here, pick up the divining rod, and then it'll be running into the pigs. So I think we want to head, yeah, if we head straight south, we should start to learn about that bit there. In general, there doesn't seem to be that much going on. Right, it's getting a bit late. Let's do a campfire so I can cook some carrots. My gamer senses are tingling. They tell the tell me the item the game gave you at the start is super important. No, that's fine. I I, I do suspect that the divining rod is indeed super important. I don't know how to use it though. but we will go down and fetch it. How are we doing? I haven't actually got any rocks. I could probably do with some rocks as well. And a torch. Or two. Right. The noise that the uh, trees make when they grow or shrink always freaks me out. <laughs> I'm always like, what was that? Oh, 
Okay. Time to see if we can get the divining rod back. Where is it? It's over there. Okay. Hello, bunnies. Oh, a carrot. You can't carry any carrots. What have I got that I don't need? Ash? Flowers. That's what we don't need. There we go. Bloody frogs. They're stalking me, you know. Oh good, it's raining again. It's the frog's natural habitat. Where's my divining rod over there? <laughs> It's a shame that you can't make like sound only clips from Twitch because you could do great things with them. There's my divining rod. It's up here. Oh, there it is. Can we get it before this frog attacks us? Yes, we have the divining rod, everyone. There we go. The signal is very faint. Does it only tell me what the signal is like as I take it out? Hush, bunnies. I mean, the frogs are stalking me. I would like, I'd like to make plain that this is not paranoia. The frogs are in fact stalking me. Last little bit of unknown before we have to run past the pigs. How many carrots have we got? Not many. We have got some cooked carrots though, so it's not too bad. Let's take these, this carrot. Oh, no, I don't need that. frog. Oh, this frog is definitely chasing me. I could, um, I just, my, my divining rod did a thing. Does it just do that randomly? Like sometimes it does that. Does that mean something? Oh, we need a shovel. Right, we have a divining rod. We were told we needed a shovel. Which almost certainly means that we want to dig for stuff. But we still can't make a shovel because we don't have the science machine. But yeah, we've learned pretty much everything there is to learn over here. Uh, how dark is it? It's all right, we've got a little bit of time. Let's just run down this road. All right, let's head towards the pigs. Leave me alone, frogs. Um, and we'll ha we'll camp near the pigs tonight, and then we'll run through them tomorrow. 
I am quite new in Don't Starve. Yes, Life of Steel. I, I've sort of played a tiny bit, but not enough to have any real sense of what I'm doing. Oh, don't chase me down here, frogs. Oh, maybe I can get you to fight with the pigs. Hey, pigs, would you like to fight with some frogs? Yes. Excellent. I appear to have started a more burning. Amazing. I appear to have started a frog um, pig war. Oh, no, 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 pig. Look, we don't even need to make fire. Uh, it's Don't Starve. And it's only the base game. I have the DLCs, but uh, because I didn't know what I was doing. I wonder if we could run past the pigs while they're distracted. Ah! No, I'm stuck in a corner. Oh, shit. Ah! Bye, pigs. Oh, God, there's more frogs. Together is a different game. Absolutely. I have together as well. But um, this is just regular Don't Starve. Go on, it's going to be daytime soon. I have to go nearer the... Yeah, I have to go near. I know, I know. Can it just be daytime? Oh no, it's just night time. Damn it. Okay, hang on. Didn't I have a torch? Die, died! Nuts! Hello, Minecrafty. Welcome in. That didn't go well. I'll have to try again. Will I, if I go in to the door again, will I remember the things I learn again? Avoided starvation. Well, also, I kind of avoided death because we don't strictly die. If I went in again, would I... Um, remember the world? Does anyone know? Shall we see? That was quite fun. Let's go in again. Let's go. So Annabelle said there was a name, right? Archipelago. Alright, so once again, we don't have anything apart from our divining rod. Let's equip it and try not to let the frogs steal it this time. Oh, this, this one has berries. Oh, I think that's just animation. There's some flints over there, amazing. Right, now we can make an axe. Oh, I've made a pickaxe instead of an axe. Nuts. Well, I enjoyed starting a frog-pig war. Um. Right, now we can make an axe. And we can have some trees. Let's equip the axe. See you in a bit, Minecrafty. Oh, don't drop that down, it's not worth the effort. Okay. Berries. 
spiders. Finally got to my Niobium planet. The Niobium volcano is flooded with magma. <laughs> Lol. In fact, Max Lol. I want to I want to do a thing where we essentially uh, move from planet to planet and take all the resources so I want to start like strip all the resources out of the first planet leave only automated things so we do like um, infinite paku or something so that food continued to be generated while we were away and um and then essentially move everyone to the next planet if that makes sense there's going to be a big problem with that planet so that you won't really be able to use oil uh because you have to man the oil wells a nomadic playthrough exactly um and because you'd have to man the oil wells, and I don't want to leave someone um, behind on the oil planet, like that would be, there'd be some stuff there. So it might be fun, but I think we might try that um, on Monday when we play some uh, Oni again. With Slicksters and Arbitries, you can get oil, you can get water and oil positive. Ah, but the, your Slicksters would require um, ranching. And that's also dupe interaction. There isn't such a thing as multiplayer, Arnie. Um, unfortunately. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what it would look like, but... Alright, so we've got a nice swampy biome here that I probably shouldn't have wandered into at night. All things considered. <coughs> Once you have enough, um, feeding them keeps, in, keeps them alive long enough. That is possible. You might just be able to, like... Um, thank you, Minecrafty you might indeed be able to just uh, build up enough sort of semi-wild stock to keep them going. But yeah, I think it would be fun to try. So we might try that uh, when we go back to it. Because I've always been interested in doing like fully automated bases and stuff. Yes, I agree that it would be interesting to be able to live in a solar system with, like, other people. But, um, as yet, that's certainly not something that we can do. How late is it? It's quite late. Let's, uh, have a little campfire. Where's my axe? Oh, I've destroyed my axe. Let's make a new axe. Cook. Oh no, there's a spider. You stay away, spiders. Nighttime big scary, absolutely. Hmm. Okay. 
I just wanted to know whether it was going to say anything different, but unfortunately not. What do we know about this world so far? There's a lot of swamp on it. That's mostly what we know about this world so far. It is a divining rod. I do not know what it does, really, apart from saying that the signal is weak. But the fact that we've been given it in a playthrough where we're supposed to uh, find things in this adventure modey bit suggests that um, it's important. Usually water. Well, indeed. I assume it's not water. So we're going to do the same thing again where we examine like the the whole place. Uh, let's get my divining rod out. I wonder if it's ever going to say something else. I assume it will at some point. Oh, look. It's like silk. Ah! Ah! What is that egg looking thing? Which egg looking thing would that be? These egg looking things, they're mushrooms. I just want to get the meat. Oh, right then. No meat for me. Grab tentacle spike. I don't know if I saw a tentacle spike. Oh, this? Oh no, I picked up something else. I've got tentacle spots. Damn it. Mum, can you just leave me alone for a second? Thank you. Oh. Ah! All right, well, well, we'll stop doing that then, maybe. All right, here's the bottom of the map. There's some stuff over there we haven't learned about. Run away, Merm's bad. I told you that this keeps happening in chat. We'll like be doing some things and then they'll just be like, no, run, run. Oh, nice. Can I eat? Oh no. Okay, right. Let's let's try over here. Hello, bunny. The egg thing I was talking about was kind of huge-looking spider egg things. Oh, it's the spider nest. Minecrafty. That's what that is. That's a spider nest. The big white ones. Yeah, no, that's their nest. There's a lot of swamp here. Can I eat the fish? And the frog's legs? Ow! Get off me! Alright, I'm off. I'm running. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Right. you're gonna die yes that is entirely possible i think if we die in this again we might um do some more survival bit and then um come back to the adventure again at, at another time what if i get out my divining rod you don't say anything different oh well it was worth a try yeah these are spider nests it's where they live 
But I don't like this world very much. It has a distinct lack of, like, food or, you know, nice places to live or anything like that. It appears to be mostly swamp. And spider nest. There's a portal. Alright. We're so going in the portal chat. What are you fighting? Jump in wormhole. Oh! What's the massive spider? So like our last Oni playthrough. Absolutely. What was the green spider? All right, we're going to do some other things for now. Let's pick up a spider gland. Well, there's one around. We're still looking for a good place to base, aren't we, here? Yeah. Green spiders are warrior spiders. Ah, I see, Strathen. Thank you. So I hadn't found any beefaloes, had I, to base by. Have we got food back here, by the way? Doesn't really appear so. Is there any food over here? There's some carrots. What? What is a walrus camp? Watermelon spiders. I suppose they look a little bit like a watermelon. I think we might have to dig up some carrots, because I think I'm a bit short of food, quite frankly. Yes, it is indeed all piney. I have to complain that C2 says... <laughs> Why did you buy two, not three? Is it, oh, because it's free, isn't it? You can play two for th free. Is it sucking the life out of you in a good way or a bad way, Purple Nicks? Yeah, no, that, that seems fine. Two is also massive, though. Like, two is um, quite a lot, strangely, both. <laughs> no, I, I sort of understand. Two is a big thing to try and get into. Even just the base game is pretty um, massive. Because, you know, it was in development for so many years. Right. What do we know about up here? I still can't find a good place to base. I think I'm going to head back towards here. Well, let's take this road. Let's take this branch. So Maxwell's portal is there. It's a bit weird that there's a character called Max who isn't my avatar in this. That my avatar is Wilson. But then there's a Max. Yeah, we'll definitely get onto some CK3 at some point. But do this month, I definitely think we're going to do Don't Starve because I'm really enjoying it so far. As I say, much more than I thought I might. So, so confusing. Literally playing it for the first time today and I feel like I'm doing a Masters in Experimental <laughs> Physics. Yeah, we'll definitely play some CK3 at some point. Hang on, wasn't this the thing that shot at me last time? Yes, that thing. That thing shot at me last time. Let's not get involved in those. Oh, look, but gold. Oh, no, I found gold already, wasn't I? This wasn't what I was looking for. How much gold do we have? We could definitely um, have some more, though. Oh, it's nearly night time. 
let's build a fire. Uh, we spent a couple of times in the adventure world, Annabelle. Uh, we got quite far in the first one, but I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, and then we died. And then we went back and uh, we died quite quickly. So now I'm just hanging out here again for a bit. Heal? The spider gland heals me. Is that true? Seems to be what it's saying. It does, but not a lot. Fair enough. Stone and some ash for a healing salve. So we found loads of things. We know where the pig king is. We have um, the big bird, fort, tall bird fortress. Um, oh, did I know there was? Oh yeah, that's just a little pig house. We've got Maxwell's portal. We uh, have found whatever these things are. You can use recipes for medicine where it is used to majorly increase your health. Ah. But I'd still like to find a good camping spot. I have been unhappy with my current base options. Oh, Maxwell's beard is back. Oh, look, berries. That's handy. Because I'm out of food. Uh, logs and stuff have we got? We're not too bad for logs and stuff. Berries. Let's equip our axe and chop down a couple of trees. Just to make sure we have plenty. I like the sound we make while picking things up, the little washing sound. Oh, I don't really need any flowers. We need to remember that I do have the means to make the science thing whenever I want. So, uh, right, hang on. Okay. So if we need more science thing, we can do more science thing. Can I make a straw hat? No, I have to use the science thing. Uh, maybe we'll make a straw hat tonight. I don't know why I'm chopping down this tree. Just for the entertainment, really, I think. Let's head this way. I want to get back towards the savannah. The sounds in the game are really good. Um, the voices being musical instruments and stuff. Well. I really like the sound design in Oni as well. I was watching someone talk about it who was saying that they really don't like the sound design in Oni. Right, let's run away from that before uh, too much stuff catches on fire and we catch on fire. So it, it might be a preference thing, but I think the sound design is really good. So I think this is Tallbird Land again. Yes, we're back at Tallbird Land. Lots of charcoal where the forest caught fire. I mean, that is a worthwhile point that you're making there, Straffan. 
We could make a crock pot. The green area between the rock biome and the savannah would be good for a base. Meatballs. I think we're obviously typically like one short. Because why wouldn't we be exactly one short? I think so. Yeah, I think it was just a little bit that caught fire. I don't see any more, do you? I think it couldn't spread any further. I just didn't want to hang around. Right, let's carry on. So let's have a look at this. So we've got tall birds. So you reckon base in here? Ah, we can make the charcoal. So maybe base in here, savannah north, tall birds south. Might not be too bad. Close to lots of resources and protection. Mm. Okay, so we know quite a bit about that now. This is the, uh, like, more foresty bit. Let's try coming back this way. There's a road here as well, which is handy. Then we could base quite close to the road. Bees. like to build my base in a little stone patch because then I find it nice and easy to find on the map. So how about we start our base here. There's even a berry bush look and um, then we've got road quite nearby. Yep I think this is quite good. So today, tonight we're going to start building a base. Have I got enough to build a proper yeah, fire pit? Excellent. And we can start dumping stuff out of our packs and stuff like that, which would be good. Let's pick some grass around the place. Uh, we do need to find the beefalo though so I can do farms. Transplanting berry bushes is more productive than messing with farms. Oh, I quite like the farms, though. Um, which is, of course, not to say that you might not be right. But um, I quite like them. Oh, hell's bells. Have we got a torch? We have got a torch. Let's get our torch out. And then we can go back to our little spot. Oh man, Minecrafty, did you get done by Nightbot? If there is a link you would like to post, um, 
feel free to post it in Discord and uh, we can have a look from there. There is a, um, a Don't Starve channel. There we go. Let's put that away. Let's build our science machine. Uh, oh, you didn't. What you may have done is... Um, it was a mistype. Yeah, Nightbot can't tell the difference between um, anything with a dot in it. This is a... See, this is a link. So anything that gets typed like that, Nightbot gets gets grumpy about, unfortunately, because it doesn't bother to check. Right, uh, can we build a crock pot yet? Nightbot is mean. Nightbot is mean. I believe that almost every member of the channel has at some point fallen foul of Nightbot. I would like to make a hat. That is one of the things I'd like to have. Crumpy Nightbot, absolutely. Right, what am I doing here? What do I want for my base? Uh, we need a shovel, because we'd quite like to um, transplant what's it? So let's get a shovel to start with. You like Nightbot Ohms. <laughs> I got timed out once when responding to a streamer asking what I made for a, for dinner. Oh yeah, Nightbot can be a, a what name. Right, so we have a shovel. So we want to go and find some um, berry bushes. Uh, let's start with that. Let's start with berries. Uh, let's have a little look at our map. Where can we find some berries? There might be some down here. Let's just try and go southwest and see if we can find some berries down there. It's certainly a reasonable uh, place to find them. Oh, do you need fertilizer for berry bushes? Oh. Or we could just do some grave robbing. Do you want to do some grave robbing, chat? I love a bit of grave robbing. I keep hearing we've got shovels. Yeah. Oh, this is another nice spot that we could have built our base in. Grave robbing drains sanity hard. Oh, you people are no fun whatsoever, I tell you. Will the berry bush not grow at all if I don't have fertilizer? Do it anyway, sanity is overrated. We'll probably come back and do it. Berry bush will not grow without fertilizer. Okay, I don't think Oh, hello. Let's pick up the box thing. Oh, you can't carry any more stuff. No, oh, nuts. Right, come on. Let's go back to our little home. It is single player Afra. It's just don't starve. It's not don't starve together. Pig King would like the gnome. Would he? Let's plant the berry bush and we'll work out, no not drop, plant and I'll work out how to get some fertilizer for it later. Also let's drop the crank thing, I don't want to carry around the crank thing. Uh, I don't really need these petals so let's just drop those. Um, what else have we got here? I've got a trap which we would like to set in fact. Right. I like to have all my tools where I can see them. Mm 
Why have I got two stacks of logs, people? Recommend planting trees near your base. Fire pit should be off screen. Night is scary and full of terrors. Absolutely. I was told I should never go near the gnome. Because gnome was evil. Is giving it to the pig king acceptable? We could plant trees in this bit. Now oh, I've done it again. I keep dropping my pine cones rather than planting them. Do these need fertilising as well? Poor gnome, just standing around protecting the thing and being called evil. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. You can live up here and we'll burn you for charcoal. Trees and sticks do not need fertilizer. I can plant sticks as well. Can I? Oh, amazing. I don't really have enough food. Now we might starve. Um. Bunny traps, absolutely. We can also go up here. There's uh, there's berry bushes up there. So we'll do that tomorrow. We can probably manage to not starve until then. Maybe. set some traps up for the bunnies thank you there's a berry bush light torch oh, I don't have one nuts nuts apparently the only thing I can build is a campfire there we go I don't know why this is the only thing I can build oh because it's in the backpack of course it is. Well, I have some light, so, you know. This'll do for now. Right, let's cook these little bit of berries we have. And eat them. So you're a tiny bit less hungry. Can I hammer this down again? Yes, I can. Lovely. I know you're hungry. But, like, there's nothing to do about that right now. Oh, no, I want to equip the hammer. Thank you. Oh, there's some carrots up there. Let's go get some carrots since we are a bit hungry just at the minute. Berries, carrots. That's good. There's a bunch of bushes here that we can dig up when we can make rot. How do we make rot? Because we had some in the last game, but I'm not sure how we were making it. T 
take out. I think we picked flowers last time and let them spoil. Ah, could be. Let's murder this bunny and put its trap back. Any spoiled food works too, or manure. Excellent. Well, we've got some. We've got a little bit back there, so uh, we can also combine this because I apparently picked some more flowers for no reason. Your twitch is being weird. Oh, really? Uh, I think it's your end, not mine, on this occasion. Uh. Okay, why are these not combined? Oh, logs can only be in 20s. Is that why they're not combined? Fair enough. Do, 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 do. Oh, my trees are growing. Look at that. Right, what do we know about our little surrounding area? Let's carry on up here. It's on my end. Your internet just sucks. Fair enough. That is unfortunately sometime the, sometimes the way of it. Right, so we've got a... Oh, we've got a bunny. And murder the bunny. Okay, I think we'll do you another bunny trap out here. Ah, three traps might be enough actually. We wound up with way too many bunnies last time. Then I could sensibly eat once I got a crock pot. We definitely wound up needing a lot more um, a lot more veg compared to our meat intakes. But we haven't found any beefalo to get manure from. So we cannot as yet make a farm, which is a bit awkward. Oh, important tip. When the berry bush looks unfertilized like the right one there, don't dig them up. It will destroy them. Fair enough. Food. Oh, God, food is needed. Let's go and cook some uh, bunnies. Let us go and cook some of these bunnies that we have. We have a couple of morsels here and some berries. You see, that is why I'm holding the logs when, um, Oh, don't eat the bloody morsel. God damn it. That is why I'm holding the logs when I keep catching myself on fire. Because I'm trying to add fuel to an existing fire pit. There we go. So the pig king would like the note. some carrots up here as well oh we have some carrots there we go we can eat some carrots right nom nom carrots I think we'll take the other carrot he likes a bunch of things but especially trinkets I can't remember where the gnome was now. Where did we find the gnome? Oh, I don't remember. I've only ever played Don't Starve Together. What's different about Don't Starve? I can't tell you because I've never played Don't Starve Together. But chat might be able to tell you, Ohms. Also, I hope you're having a lovely day. It is, as ever, always good to see you.
Hmm, berries. What is this? Corpse with many twigs. Okay, we'll take the twigs. That's fine. We should plant some twigs by our base. Hang on. All right, let's go the other way. The differences in gameplay and... <laughs> Congratulations in rescuing your Niobium Nematrek. Ah, it's dark. Have I got a torch? I do. Lovely. I love how much nighttime stresses you out, Minecrafty. Somewhere up here is our base. Yeah. Excellent. Oh! Right, hang on. You. Oh, like now it's daytime. <sighs> Good grief. Good grief is all I've got to say to that. Um, should we see if we've got any new bunnies that we can eat? No, no bunnies. Don't cook the carrots. Don't just eat them, Wilson. Right. Let's do some eating. Lovely. Right. We would like a crock pot. Let's see if we can find a suitable tree to burn down. This would be a lovely tree to burn down. No. <laughs> You're convinced Wilson is just flirting with Charlie. Right. Charcoal. Let's make a crock pot. Hello. Why can't I make a crock pot? What don't I have? Cut stone. Oh, I should be able to make cut stone though. One, two, three. Lovely. Right. Crock pot. Excellent. Let's build a crock pot by our fire. Maybe we'll build some more traps. These traps don't seem as effective as the ones by my other base were. Garden's only on fire a bit, Nematrek. Honestly, so dramatic. Right, bunnies. I wish to eat you. Right. 
Where do we want to go now? Uh, let's go and investigate this bit by the graveyard that we didn't rob. Oh, it's the gnome. Oh, and a spear. Lovely. Let's take the spear. Should we take the gnome to the pig king? Uh, we might come in the morning to take the gnome to the pig king. Help me remember that the gnome is here. Are you just venting your iron volcano into the uh, into the ice world then? Oh. Oh, a minor hat. Look at all this. Uh, let's unequip it because assumably it'll go bad. Put on a straw hat for now. This is a great find. We can do some spelunking at some point then. What do we know about the bottom? Spiders. Right, okay. <laughs> Nighttime stresses you out. Cool, so we found that over here. What else might we like to know? There's a road here. Where does this road lead to? Not very much. The caves are scary. Yeah, I think we'll 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 give the caves a little bit of a miss for now. I like to just explore though. How are we doing for food? We probably need to go back and see if we can uh if we've caught some bunnies. Oh, bats. Hello, we freed the bats. Uh, right, let's continue heading north. Hard agree. Is the bat still chasing me? Leave me alone, bat. Good grief. Right. How are my bunny traps doing? Oh, there's one. Oh my god, leave me alone. Is it going to chase me forever? Also, I'm not sure I got a bunny out of my bunny trap. Bats are kind of a side effect, but they do... We do have a spear. That is true. I am particularly terrible at attacking things, though, just so we're clear. All right, now it's night time and I need this. That was no bunny. Why was there no bunny in my trap? Also, what the hell am I gonna do about this bat? Where's my home? I can't find it. No, this is my home. 
Bugger off! Ah! <laughs> oh, we had the touchstone. I forgot we had the touchstone. Not quite dead. Right. So, where's our base? It's down here. So we can go back to our base. We are okay because I had the touchstone. Oh, look, there's even some rot. And some. Whoa! No, no, I don't want to fight with Worm either. Bring Hammer back here and hammer down on pig heads on a stick to get pigskin for helmets. Ah. Oh. Interesting. Right. Let's, let's try and be a little bit more adventurous this time and have a look at other things over here. Lots of swamp over here. Well, apparently the answer is here, Holmes. Oh, help. At least the tentacles can't get you if you keep moving. Get eight reeds while you're here. I didn't see any reeds. Did anyone see any reeds? Because I didn't see any. I do remember them being useful for things, but I don't actually see any. Yep. Reed fibre from the swamp. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> there is a theme there, certainly. Oh, there's some. Hang on. Oh, there's some more. Ah. Here's some. I think the tentacles are bad for my sanity. I mean, they're bad for my sanity. I don't know about Wilson's. Uh, our sanity's a bit upset because we uh, got... Um, we died. Wilson doesn't really appreciate it when you die. Oh, there's the pig head on, pig head on the stick. Right, okay. How many reeds have we got? Four. This is a pond. Are there any reeds down here? No. Oh, there's some. Yeah, we died. A bat chased us. And uh, then it got dark. And, like, I couldn't really cope with all of those things combined. Oh, look, it's a mushroom circle. I don't know. What did you hear? Or are you just going mad? A fairy ring. Absolutely. Right. I have eight reeds. Okay. Well, well, we'll keep it wet. How long do I normally stream? I usually stream for somewhere between four and five hours. Uh, we usually stop about somewhere between 7 and 8 British summer time. Sometimes it's a little shorter, sometimes it's a little longer. It depends on what we're doing. I don't know if I died to uh, Gru or whether I died to uh, the bat, to be honest. It could have been either. <laughs> Right, let's head back to base now. Hydrate. Hang on.
Do we have a second touchstone? No. If we die again, we're dead. I haven't found a second touchstone. Well, I have found a second uh, mine, though. Uh, where is my home? Oh man, it's quite a long way away. Uh, let's get some saplings and grass so that if necessary we can make a torch. I do hear- oh no, I do hear that sound. Oh, we are not prepared for that. Ah, hello! Uh, you're hungry. I mean, worry about the hungry, hungry wolves behind you, mate. Oh, that's... where am I? He can't run on an empty stomach. He's doing all right. Where the hell am I? Oh God, that's uh, upsetting. The fridge? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh. Okay. Wolves at the door for sure. Will wolves at the f at the door? Ah. And there's a road here. Run on the road. It makes you a bit quicker, Maxwell. Oh, it's gonna be dark in a second. Right, it is gonna be dark in a second. Oh, I can't stand still long enough to build the torch. Excellent, right. Hopefully, if we follow this, I believe Time to set stuff on fire and lure the wolves. Um, well, down this road is... Uh, hopefully, somewhere. Hello. Hey there. Full moon, no tall birds. No, there you go. Look, we've woken them. We've woken them. Don't chase me! Ah! Death! Death! That made you jump. Sorry, I, um... I have a slight problem with my, uh... Uh, microphone location that I knock it over with my chest all the time. Close out prediction. That is fair. Where do we get? Eight days? Hang on. What is this? Hang on. Choose prediction. Will we get past day 17? Uh, choose outcome. No. Complete prediction. I think nobody gets anything. I wish to complete that. Shall we do a new prediction? We can do once again whether we're gonna um, beat our previous uh, record. Let's uh, start our prediction. No, I just want to do this one again. There we go. I'm gonna give you five minutes to predict because I am gonna take a swift break. Uh, 
I think you can only have two options, Nematrek. So, um, doing a prediction of what we will die to is, um, is not really, uh, suitable. I mean, I could do will I starve or will I die to something else, but I pretty much always die to something else. I'm not sure I've ever starved since, since we've been streaming. Day or night if you die. Uh, we could do day or night if you want to do that for a, for a change. Will we die at night or in the day? Day, night. There you go. You have some fun doing some predictions and I am going to take a very swift break and I will be right back.
hello. Right. Yes, I think that dusk is going to be day. I will listen to submissions that um, dusk is not day and that I have done you all out of your points. So if someone would like to make that argument, you are welcome to. And I will consider. Are you hedging your bets and betting on both of them, we'll get. Right then, let us try again. Who have we unlocked? So we, who did we unlock? Woody. Okay. I'm at the cap. Does this mean we're not... G this is the last person to unlock? You can't bet on both. I tried. Let's go to the menu for a second. Is that the last person to unlock? Oh, man. Um, play. Character. No, there's still people to unlock. Two more people to unlock. They probably unlock via achievement or DLC. I mean, I have the DLC. There are characters you unlock in different ways. Ah, oh, I see. The DLC will just add new characters to unlock. Right then, here we are once again. There's some savannah up there, so we're going to go and have a look at it in a minute. But first we want to try and build up a little berry stash. Oh, actually that's not savannah. It is. Thank you so much for the bits, Annabelle. You are, as ever, incredibly generous. Thank you for supporting the channel. We will see how this run goes. Hopefully well. There are some more berries down here before I go and investigate that max hype. Ooh. Someone has left us a whole bunch of rope. Trying out our new emotes. Yes, we do have max hype now. I've moved... No, 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 no. Unequip that. I've moved... I can't remember whether I moved max what or... I think I moved max what into um, bits rewards. I discovered I can... there's um... there's emote slots for bit rewards. If you give enough bits you can unlock new emo emotes, which I, I didn't actually know. Um, but I, I realised that that was the case. So it means I've got something to do with my ones that I'm not using. Oh no, apparently Nematrek still has max what. Maybe it's max y then that I moved. I moved one of them. Try and use Max Y. Because uh, I fiddled around with them. I have... Oh, you've unlocked it with bits. Fair enough, Nematrek. Yes, so I moved Max Watt into the bits ones. Um, there's also the one that you didn't like very much, which was Max Thank in there. In the bits ones for higher bit tiers. But I thought since Wut was quite like hype, we'd just have hype. Also, you might know that notice that hype is slightly better resolution. Because I think I found a slightly better way to capture the images. So I might be redoing them all. So that they can all look a bit more like uh, max hype. Because I think I can make them all a bit better. Which, you know, just might be nice in general for us. So, yes, that was uh, some of the fiddling I was doing last night. Trying to uh, work some stuff out. Um, right, so we can make an axe. Let's do that. Let's chop down some trees. So that we can at least try not to die the first night. So, yes. I'm also thinking, would people be interested in me hosting a Don't Starve Together game that we do on like a Saturday or something? 
and we could have that as a channel um you know the the big channel points community challenges that you can do we could have a we could have a big points challenge for play don't starve together with some viewers So if people would be interested, let me know and I'll set that up. <laughs> I love the squid emote, it's so good. So this is a tiny, tiny bit of savannah. Points reward for co-op. Uh, it would probably be way more than 100k because it would be a like community one and we'd have like... I think I can host a game with as many as six players. So it would probably have to be more than 100k because like you guys don't have uh it's the max value points purple nix so a thing happens where um as well as spending your points on the stuff that we already have in the max value points thing there's um you can do a thing where like everyone pulls their points together to unlock a thing um you know to get a reward off the channel and I was thinking of having that reward be that we could have a gay day of me hosting a Don't Starve Together game. Um, and I think I can have six players. You think we should consider the last half of Dusk as night time. How do people feel about this? There's some evil flowers over here. Is there anything else exciting? No, just some evil flowers. Oh, and the evil tree, I see. Um, how do people feel about the last half of dusk being night time? Strafen is okay. Nemetrek is with me that it's only if we can uh, get eaten by Charlie. But everybody else seems to think that's quite reasonable. So we can definitely go for that. I think it's fair. Otherwise, the day is much bigger than the night. But the night is much more dangerous than the day. Oh, look. It's one of the cool um, uh, pig farms. I love pig farms. Right. We're going to camp here tonight, then. Can I make a campfire? Yes. Lovely. Tonight, we are going to camp here. Also, people seem to be find it reasonable who are on both sides of the betting. So, that is good to see. So yeah, that was my thought. Like, essentially, we can I can start a channel points reward that would be like, I think I'd probably set it at like quarter of a million or something like that. And it lasts for many days. I mean, only Morgex produce a predicted death during the day. Well, if Morgex then is entirely happy for us to expand the night time, that seems um, perfectly fair. Um, so yeah, I'd probably set a really big total, but um, because I'm not a huge uh, online, like uh, uh, a multiplayer sort of person. But what you get to do is you get to contribute points like over and over and over. There's a limit for each day, but you can contribute points repeatedly over the period of time. Um, if that makes sense. And, and until you get it. But I think uh, I was sort of pricing it based on how regularly the community is able to um, uh, buy, show us a stuffed animal. And considering how regularly you are able to afford that between all of you, I definitely think that like 100k would be too low. Because you, you could all do that in about 10 days. Um... <laughs> if you worked together. So we'd probably have to go a bit higher. Oh, I love the pig farms. They're so cool. 
Like, how do they make their berry bushes look like this? And can I make my berry bushes look like this? Oh, uh, no. You see, that's my second problem then, Nematrek. Is how we would choose who gets to play. I was thinking that what I would do is... Um, make a raffle wheel. I don't know if you've seen them. I can make... Like, there's uh, websites, Hello Kasukin, that allow you to make, like, a raffle wheel. And it works like raffle tickets. So we do it, I think, based on time subbed. So that those of you who have been supporting the channel longer get more entries into the draw, essentially. And, uh, but it's still random because we spin the wheel and um, you get what you get. So you'd get as many entries as you have months subscribed or something like that. But you could also enter if you weren't subscribed. You'd just only get one entry, you know. Um, so you still might get to play. So I was thinking that was an option. Um, because I don't really want to make it like uh, bit spaced or anything like that. Because I don't want to price people out of playing it. Um, that sounds wildly unfair. Ohms, it's wildly unfair in your, um, uh, what's the word? Benefit. As well you know. You're just being contrary, aren't you? Ah, <laughs> you don't have a computer to play games, so you're living vicariously. That favor wildly in your favor yes yes ohms the odds would most certainly be forever in your favor there still what would you do instead ohms i'm certainly willing to listen to other ideas because as i say i don't want to price people out of getting to play but i do want to be able to reward uh supporters of the channel if you see what I mean. Like both of them are kind of important things to me. We could rotate it after an hour or two. I mean, we certainly could. We could just pick, like, I mean, it's quite possible that people playing wouldn't be able to stay for a whole day of it. It's also going to depend what day I play and stuff like that, whether people are actually available. Because we also have loads of people who work and stuff. So uh, what we could do is we could use the draw to be like, this is the order. And... Um, you know, as people drop out, we can put the next person in. Oh. Hello, Tallbird. I'm not really concentrating on this. Hello, Unkindled Seum. I hope you are well. Oh, I'm glad to hear that you love this game. I suck at it. Well, uh, you're, you're in good company. I'm not very good at it either. But we are learning it together. What time is it for you? It is half past five for me. Maybe also consider recent watch time. Um, I don't know if I can see that. I mean, maybe I can. Not only sub time. Oh, well, that would come back to channel points again in some ways, wouldn't it? Buy more raffle slots with points and bits. Maybe with points, but not with um, bits. Because that, again, comes, you know... If you can afford it, you get to play with Max, and that doesn't seem the way to do it. I had a friend fail my IQ test. 
You have two medium pizzas. One has 12 slices and one has 16. Which pizza do you pick and why? I mean, I assume it doesn't matter which pizza you pick because they have, they're both medium pizzas. Quite frankly, it's raining by slot with bits for somebody else. Um, oh, I'm glad I was right about that unkindled thing. I mean, certainly we could allow that. We could allow a gift. Um, which one has pepperoni? Yeah, no, I mean, that is often the way that I choose my pizza. Absolutely. Uh, what are we doing? It's, it's nearly night time. Let's, um, let's go and make a little campfire. We'll make it here with these stones. So we got stuff to make a campfire. I haven't been paying loads of attention to what I'm doing. There we are. Oh, we do have some roasted berries to eat though, so that's good. Thank you with Strephon that I needed light. Oh, Wilson, do you think he looks like a spider? I suppose he kind of does a little bit. I like him better when he's got a beard. But we have to keep him alive enough for him to get a beard. If you are talking about Don't Starve Together, I found a mod that changes the maximum service server size to 64 people. Wow. Well, I mean, if we could do that, then that would be a good way of doing it. <laughs> you have a band-aid tan line. How would you eat? I mean, we wouldn't have that many people who wanted to play, I imagine. Um, we'd kind of, we might have to like have a little experiment with it. Oh, you weren't, you weren't here Minecrafty when I got terrible sunburn earlier in the year. That was pretty funny. We had one sunny afternoon while I was away for the weekend and I got massively sunburned. Could also run a dedicated server for the day, could be more stable. I mean, this is one of those things that's going to require me to know way more about um, computers than I know, isn't it, Ohms? Because remember that I am largely computer illiterate. There are two band-aid tan lines and one is way darker. <laughs> oh man. Right, what am I trying to do, chat? I'm just wandering around like a like a lemon currently. I'm looking for somewhere to form a base, aren't I? That's that's what I want to do. Hello, pigs. Yeah, you could make like, um, you could make like tan tattoos or something with your, with your band-aids. But yes, we, as I say, this is why I am raising it with, um, everyone to begin with, because you know, there might be tech things that I don't understand. There might also be exciting... I want to know what this walrus camp is. Don't tell me. But, um... Bye, Minecrafty. See you again. Um, but I am interested in the walrus ca camp. Um, yeah, because there might be tech things I don't understand. There might also be, um you know, game things I don't understand, because bear in mind I've never played Don't Starve Together, so we'll have to sort of work it out together. And also it's going to be about what works for the community. 
Was that a thing when you were in school? Spell out your partner's um, name in band-aids and get a tan. Thank you very much, Minecrafty. I hope to see you again soon. Enjoy your event. Oh, oh. It's more pig spider fights. No worries at all, Annabelle. Enjoy your lurking. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to pick one more flower so we can make a flower crown. You know when you're just wandering around randomly and don't starve? That is what I'm doing. Let me look at my map. Oh, I see. I've wandered around quite a lot randomly. I probably should have just made a thing up there. Let's, let's slowly head back up there. I realise I said I was going to head back up there and I'm continuing to head this way. It's because I'm sort of interested in how far this way goes. There's quite a lot of pigs down here. I am the flower king. Well, Wilson is the flower king. Because, I mean, the other thing is we'd also... Um, You'd have to come to the Discord, because we'd need a way for... Oh, look what we found! I don't think we're going in the portal just yet, but we have found the portal. Um... Yeah, we'd have to, like, have a uh, Discord channel that people have to come and opt into and, like guarantee that they could play and stuff like that so that we can um, make sure we're not giving a slot to people who aren't going to play or aren't going to be around because that would be disappointing for everyone really <laughs> wrapped his royal head with the rotting body of his subordinates <laughs> You are feeling charming today, Ohms. Like corporate USA. Oh, man. <laughs> How are we doing? Where am I? Oh, right there. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, let's go to this road then. How are we doing for night time? It's not quite night time yet. Let's have some seeds. Have we got any food? We've got quite a lot of food from before. Oh, this road's rubbish. Oh, there's some gold here. That's nice. Road. Oh. What have you left for me, matey? Logs. Stones. Shovel. Excuse me. <laughs> right then. Where are we going? 
Do we know about this? Have we been here before? Oh, well, kind of. Oh, it's night time. Hang on. Torch. Thank you. Let's make a little campfire. Lovely. Let's put our torch away. We'll cook some berries. We'll eat some berries. Excellent. So far, so good. So what have I got? I've got... Um, can I build the science machine? No, I don't have enough logs. Right, okay. We need to chop down some logs tomorrow then. So that we can build the science machine. And then I think, what do we need for the hammer? Yeah, so we good, should be good for the hammer, which is cool, because then we can build the science machine and knock it down again, if we don't want it anymore. So for now, we are going to hang out here. You've got enough gold for the science machine and alchemy engine. Oh. I mean, that wasn't really deliberate, but I'm interested to know this. I don't know. Uh, I don't... I need, I need boards for the alchemy engine, though. So we need... We definitely need some more logs. Oh, hang on. It's the crank thing. Have I got space for the crank thing? Just about. Oh, there's a good tree to chop down. I wasn't trying to get all the components for science and alchemy at the same time. I was mostly just wandering around a bit randomly, looking at the map. Hello, bunnies. Right, let's see if we can... Are there any beefalo on this bit of savannah or anywhere? Maybe up here? Um, can we run the dogs into the tentacles? Could we use the swamp as protection? Ooh. Ah! Yes, you can run dogs into tentacles. So it might be a decent idea to build it like somewhere around here, to base somewhere near here then. So we've got this nice big savannah where we can, yes, but it's risky, okay. And we've got, there's tall birds down there, so we could base, like, I'd sort of like to base here. Many goodies in swamp, but recommend armor and helmet before running in there. Fair enough. Let's come over here and see what's over here just before we decide where to base. But otherwise, I think it might base sort of round here or here somewhere. I haven't seen any beefalo, unfortunately, Ohms. Um, I have been hoping to see some beefalo, but we haven't seen any. I can't find the suitable savannah for beefalo. This one's tiny, just has a couple of rabbits on it. Um, I think we looked at that one over there as well. Let's come this way. Want a beefalo plushie, but they are expensive. So we could camp. We could set up like here. We've got bunnies, the road, 
not too far away it's a little bit far away but um down here somewhere are some tall birds or at least a tall bird somewhere there's also the pig there was a pig over here i don't know if there's actually one that lives in that house i don't know but that might be decent I assume the bees aren't really protection enough to kill the um, the dogs. Wow, it's so huge. But yeah, otherwise I don't really see any beefalo. Bees will not help with dogs. I didn't think so. of this yeah there's not loads up here there's just a swamp I don't know I think I'd probably like to get some sort of base going we can tear it all down later if we decide we've we've chosen a bad place but I think in the short term we're gonna have a little base here Let's put this down for now. Do, 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 do. So, how are we doing? Oh, it's still quite daytime, so let's pick up some stuff. Oh, we needed logs, didn't we? Oh, where's my axe? My axe is equipped. Lovely. Not that one. I don't know how I feel about the fact that the bunnies scream and run as soon as it becomes dusk. Yeah, I've been having the muffalo beefalo problem as well, Ohms. I think I keep settling on beefalo. Do you use keyboard commands to control the character? I am currently using keyboard controls to uh, command the character, yes. Um, well, I'm using keyboard and mouse. Combo. I have played this with a controller, so I have like a, an old Xbox controller that I have used, uh, which I quite liked, but um, I thought I'd give keyboard and mouse another go. Well, it's going okay. I would like to build a fire pit. Lovely. Thank you. Um, I would like to build a science engine. Mm, that would be fine. And I would like to build a backpack. Always first among things to build. Let's also craft some traps that we'll lay for rabbits tomorrow. There we go. I 
I'm just doing this while I'm standing about, to be honest. Uh, we found quite a lot of useful things. Oh, let's cook these. And then eat them. But we could really do with finding some uh, beefalo. Let's dump the crank thing over here. Because I don't think we need to carry that around with us. I believe you could equip the objects on the hotbar using numbers. That is almost certainly true, but I know me and I will never for one second remember which number I have assigned to what or anything like that. Um, I'd have to count along the bar all the time. It would be upsetting. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, sometimes hotkeys can be useful for me, but a lot of the time... Set, especially in things that I have to do quickly. I, I'm not sure they're going to help. Right. Let's see. We've got another bunny hole up here. I've got another um thing. Come on, bunnies. Where are your Where are your dens? Oh, that's quite a long way away. But never mind. Here you go trap this bunny right what do we want to do next we still want to find me for for one thing oh. apparently we just want to collect bunnies excellent um, let's murder this bunny we need more grass for one thing so let's head off for some If I had a pile of 10 flowers on the floor and they rotted, I have no idea how often you catch something from each hole. To be honest. Yes, if I had a power pile of like 10 flowers on the floor and they all rotted would I get 10 rot does chat know yes the bid is coming in nicely bit stream let's have a look what do we know about let's where should we go and investigate Oh, this was the pigs. Okay. Let's go up this way then. This is something quite close that we don't actually know very much about. Well, it might be the edge of the world. Oh no, it's just a little hole in the world. We have got a bunch of berries. We should pick these because we don't have loads of food and we would like some. Food useful. We also want to find a little grove that we can burn down, ideally. That is not too near other things so we can get some charcoal. So we can make the crock pot. Oh, 
Well, this is quite a nice area. Right. Where's my torch? Well, it won't get dark if I burn down the forest. Don't you worry. <laughs> yes, you could have prevented that by not setting things on fire. What can I say? However, we chose to set some stuff on fire. some smoky <laughs> there <laughs> well you know I need some what's it what's the thing I need charcoal that's the thing I need oh I set some grass on fire that wasn't quite what I meant to do thank you very much Strafen have a good time as well. Hello, Carsa. Welcome in today. I hope you are well. We're um, harvesting some charcoal by means of burning some stuff down. Wilson doesn't like too much to burn stuff down, but what are you going to do? Also, it's giving us plenty of light. Were you trying to prevent me burning those other things down? No, I don't really care about them, to be honest. Right. Work over. See, it's nutrition not included today. It is nutrition not included. Uh, let's maybe not do those ones. Oh, these two should do well. Right. Oh, apparently I set myself on fire there briefly. We're going to need a torch. We have one. We'd like to, while we stand around, let's build another one. Oh, I can't chop things. Oh, I have six charcoal, though. So that'll do. Hydrate. Thank you, Kasuki. I also refilled my water bottle while I was away. Okay, so we're heading back to a base. Let's head off. We'll try not to burn anything down randomly on the way. Oh, where am I? Okay, I see. You're hungry? Oh, we'll make you some food when we get back to base. We can even make you crock pot food. It'll be very nice. There we go, look. Base. Uh, so we don't need to do that. What I'd like to do is... Food. Crock pot. What do I need? Cut stone. Oh, I'm not sure I have enough. Oh no, this is the wrong thing. I do not have enough stone, I don't think. Well, let's go and mine this. Uh, 
I'm not sure about the noise the bunnies make when you murder them, to be honest. Right, I think we can make a crock pot now. They make a noise as if you stepped on them. They do. No? Oh, because I haven't... I need to refine a little bit more stone. There we go. Food crock pot. How do we feel about the drying racks, chat? Are we excited by the drying racks? Morsel. Berries. Cook. Very excited about drying racks. Fair enough. Yes, yes. We're, we're attending to your hunger now, Wilson. We are literally attending to your hunger as we speak. Look. Eat your meatballs. Let's do that again. It's a great way to preserve meat and give it food value, if I remember correctly, and sanity. That's good stuff. Right, let's eat some more meatballs. Excellent. Right, let's have a look at this. In the food bit, what would I need to make a drying rack? Uh, just a bit more charcoal, actually, is all I need to make it. So we should be able to do that fairly straightforwardly. Let's check this trap. Oh, it does have a bunny in it. Lovely. Let's murder the bunny. Uh, yep, there's one up here as well. So I have just discovered a most excellent thing. If you take hot water, one spoonful of cocoa powder and two spoons of sugar, you now have hot cocoa. I mean... <laughs> I'm interested that you have only just discovered this on Kindle Zoom. Uh, I have to say... Right, let's, um, we'll put some more meatballs in. And now we're going to go and find, oh, actually cook them as well, please. While you do that, we're going to find some more trees to burn down. Right, if you take condensed milk, oh, I see there's more to this. If you take condensed milk, add three spoons of cocoa and five spoons of sugar, simmer it until it's very thick, and then put it in the fridge, you have chocolate. I am deeply entertained by this. That's it. Stop setting yourself on fire. Full of sugar helps the medicine go down in the words of Judy Andrews, indeed. But I love Judy Andrews. You could have prevented that. I mean, I would have rather you prevented the bit where you set yourself on fire, but you know. We'll cope. We'll cope. Right. Science machine. I would like to make a drying rack. Amazing. Let's build it. I want to build it in here. No, you don't want me to build it in there. That's sad time. So we can build it there. Excellent. Only you can light yourself on fire. You should add some meats. I can only add one meat at a time. Fair enough. Um, let's plant some more twigs. How 
do I plant them? How do I plant twigs? Do I need the shovel? Do I have a shovel? I do have a shovel. Maybe a box. It just means you need more drying racks. I mean, that may be true as well. Are we appear to, can we just dig? No? No. I can dig stuff up. Oh, do I have to dig up the, um, I have to dig up the twigs to plant the twigs. I see. Well, I don't know if I need to bother with the ones that are just here, to be honest. Alright, let's go back to the fire. Oh, nuts. Q. Do you want to eat your meatballs? Excellent. Right. So, we've got a crock pot. We've got a drying rack. I think we need to go exploring for... Um, beefalo again. So that we can find fertilizer. Have I got any veg to go in here? I haven't. Give me one second. Ugh. Let's pick some carrots. Thank you, Happy Nora. Also, welcome in, Happy Nora. There we go. You cook some meatballs, right? Uh, yeah. Let's let's get the rabbit. I hope you're well. Right. Where might we find beefalo? is the next question of the day. I think I'm going to try behind this, uh, where we found the crank thing. Over here. That's where we're going to go today. Let's take the road. Yes, it's sort of up here. Let's go up here. Hello, pig. Are you hiding any beefalo? No, you're hiding a wormhole. Well, that's worth noting, knowing about. Oh, we should pick up some rocks while we're here. We don't have many rocks. Oh. Oh, there's some berries over there as well. Handy. More berries and more rocks. Oh, turkey. Which I have so far largely failed to murder. So like some stuff, but not loads of stuff in here.
Right. Oh, is this the end of the world here? No, no. It um, connects back up. Let's carry on. Oh, there's loads of pigs over here. Let's, oh, it's the evil tree. Oh, and a little pig village. Did I know there was a pig village up here? It's the pig king. Hello, pig king. Should we bring the pig king the crank thing? Would the pig king appreciate the crank thing, do we think? I thought we needed the uh, crank thing for something else, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, pick, but I'd also like to pick up the silk. Can I do that? <coughs> Thank you, context menu. Mm -hmm. So we found the pig king. And some more pigs. I'm picking flowers to make rot in the absence of uh, beefalo. What have we got over there? Like stone? Alright. What is this? Oh, it's a spider warrior. Can we pick up the bones? Creepy. You know, we can't pick them up. Yeah, we're off, spider warrior. It's all right. We're not getting involved. So, pig king, spider warrior in some sort of lair. Let's, uh, let's run down this road and see what connects these two. There's some more evil flowers there. Is this more pigs? This is yet more pigs. Hello, pigs. Oh. I, I don't know what that is, so hopefully chat can tell you. Oh, assumably those spiders are going to start attacking me in a second. So, how are we doing? So we learned a few things today, but we did not find beefaloes. So we'll have to try somewhere else tomorrow for beefaloes. Let's head back to base. Uh, I think we've been here, haven't we? Yes. But there is some berries, so that'd be nice. They will grow back in due course, Wilson. It's all right. Is this the correct direction? Yes. It's a good recipe. It's for food. Ah, okay. Right. Oh, look. Here we go. Um, let's eat some meatballs. And we can put some more. Yes, we have enough to make another meatball. Are we doing? We're doing all right. Should have just enough time to nip up here, check our trap. How come sometimes you don't get any bunnies in your trap? What is under the trap? Why is it moving and there isn't a bunny under it? Because this seems a bit creepy. So we've got some small jerky. Oh, hang on. Where's my logs? Uh, oh, there's my logs. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Oh, I died? Ah, oh, nuts! I died. Traps could fall, fail in some cases. 
I died. Ah, what are we doing? Okay, we will retry. But before we retry, let me pay out the poll. Because I died at night. Once again, I died to not setting up a light. Hang on, this is this is not the thing that allows me to pay out this poll. Choose prediction. Uh, choose outcome. It was night. Complete prediction. And there we go. Everyone gets points. They don't get very many points. But you do get points. Uh, yes, we've done those ones. Four point four K goes to Fire a Broadside and others. Amazing. All right, so we survived six days. So this time I think we'll just ask whether we'll survive longer. Yes, I, I know my torch wasn't wasn't. I need to be more careful about that. Right. Let's start a prediction. So where did we die? Day six, it says, doesn't it? Yes, okay. So start a prediction. We're gonna do will we get past day seven? Okay? Don't have to get very far. We don't need a new record. We just need to do... You won 102 points. I put in 100 points. Two point profit. You, you see, if you all bet on the same thing, you don't get such good points. So, um... Yeah, we'll have five minutes, but I'll start anyway when we're ready. So we're going to do will we get past day seven. So we don't need to do better than we've ever done. We only need to do... Uh, yes, we've done that. You can go away now. So you should be able to see the one new event, which is the new poll to predict with if you would like. I will be right back and we will start as soon as I'm back. We won't necessarily wait for the poll. Um, what am I doing? Be right back. There. No poll shaming Nemetrek. Everyone is free to use their points as they wish. Right, let's go again. Hopefully I won't die before the poll finishes. <laughs> I mean, that's been quite unlikely. Here we are. It's a new day in Don't Starve. Wilson has food, he has health, he has sanity, and we will attempt to get past day seven. I mean, I'd say there's a reasonable chance of getting past day seven. I mean, we often died to the first appearance of the wolves and stuff like that. But the first things first, basic resources, flower crown, some berries. All the usual. We've only found one bit of flint. We could do with some more flint. That would be nice. Ah, 
Oh, there's some more flint. Lovely. So we can have an axe and we can have some logs. All excellent. Lovely. I really like the music as well. It's got a very um, Danny Elfman feel to it. It's normal. I reinstalled the game and died that same way. Got hit without set fire on the campfire in time. Yeah. I think it's, a, it's, it's, you know. And as I say, I like to... Um, play a bit fast and loose when I play for chat because, um, you know, we're here to have a good time and sometimes a good time is me dying. Because certainly it wouldn't be any fun if I, you know, crept my way through everything and was super cautious and never achieved anything. But I think we've achieved loads of things, to be honest. I would say that in the course of um, of the last couple of days, you had my stream in, on silent. Fidelia, you've probably missed a whole bunch of death. Our last run died to us uh, not turning the light on quickly enough, which is not necessarily that unusual. Nice. It doesn't always break Nemetrek. It works really well once you get it going. I'll admit that FJ's petroleum boiler can be uh, fussy to get running, but once you get it running, it's very good. We ran it for hundreds and hundreds of cycles in that last game. But I've talked about this before, you know. Um... I'm not just here to play games, I'm here to be entertaining for the people who are watching me playing games. And there's loads of ways that I might play games if I was by myself that don't necessarily work for an audience. It's why I often do things like um, play a bit of Oxygen Not Included in the evenings and do boring things like sweep and dig out biomes where there isn't anything exciting to look at and all of that sort of stuff. You want to combine your research reactor with a petroleum boiler. Kasukin, you are... You're definitely a bit of a mad scientist, Kasukin. Hello Danish, how are you doing today? I hope you are well. We are starving in Don't Starve. Well, we're not starving, to be fair. We're being murdered more than starving. You're full of food. <laughs> Let's say I play a lot of Oni. I mean, that's, that's fine, Kasuke. There is definitely, however, a um, a level to the conversations that you and, and for instance, Nemetrek. I held my non-formation today. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's a coming of age thing. And that's like a big feast, considering you're you're full of food. Why did I do that? Oh, I don't know. What time is it? It's nearly a time for us to set up for the night. How are we doing for berries? We've got quite a few berries. We've got some logs. 
I think it's time to make a campfire and try to not die this evening. At least I've managed to make it past the pole ending. Uh, it's confirmation, but as the name suggests, it's uh, you're not Christian. In most family, it means gifts and money. It's quite big. Ah, fair enough. Can I ask how old one is when one is non-confirmed? Thirteen to fifteen, I see. Oh, so it is more like a, a confirmation or something where there isn't necessarily a set age. Well, I'm glad you had a lovely time, Danish. You do it seventh grade or around there because it's also bound to school. Ah, I see. Oh, I do still have an axe. It also means for most families that you can drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. Is that something you're looking forward to or something you're not very bothered by? In Denmark, there's no age limit. I see. Uh, Jukun V uh, V, which roughly translates to teenage consecration. You're not really bothered. Fair enough. Isn't Jugen, um child? Fidelia, or am I am I uh, mistaking my very old and not very good German? Do I need beefalo around here? Oh, used for youth. I see. I understand. Yes. Kinder for child, is it? This is massive, but there aren't any beefalo. Beefalo, where are you? Uh, oh, hello. Look at this stash. A backpack, a hat, some rope, a bedroll, some rot. I mean, I'm a bit worried that this is the pose in which they die. Also, I don't think that's how you pronounce J's in German. Uh, it's been a long time, and I forget. I'm happy for people to correct me, as well you know, Nematrek. Oh, you won a game? What game did you win? Danish? Kinder is plural, but yes. Oh, look what else we found. We found the touchstone. This savanna is massive, but so far still no beefaloes on it. There must be some beefaloes on it somewhere, right? There's no way this is so massive and doesn't have any beefaloes. Well, it's... Hello, beefalo. It's a guy that has a lot of games, so he gives them out. I picked... Oh, cool. You picked Civ 6. I enjoy Civ 6, to be honest. I know it's not everyone's favourite, but I like it. We have found beefalo. That means that somewhere around here we'd like to make a base. Let's have a look at the map. Look at this savannah chat. Ah, uh, you prefer five to six. It's quite common. I certainly played a lot more five than I played six. But I think that's partly just about the fact that I don't play as many 4x anymore. Um. Do 
but I think um, Jürgen V. He. Uh, yes, it would be. Yeah. V. Uh, not V. Um, oh, you want Vi? You can. It would be Vi. I, I don't think I would spell Vi like that if I was attempting to teach someone to spell it. To say it. But yes. Alright. So. Oh, look, more boons. Hello, dead bloke. Uh, it will be dark soon. Let's pick this berry bush. Now then. Let's have a look. So, <laughs> this is like the world's most enormous savanna. Vi? Yeah, I'm not sure how I would spell it, but I'm not sure I'd spell it like that. I'd probably do a lot of rhyming. That's often how I do it. Because English doesn't have... Because of English not having set vowel sounds. Um, because, as I say, we make up our pronunciations as we go. Um, one of the easiest ways I always find to... Um, translate sounds into English is to be like... Yes, Vi like Y, absolutely. Exactly like that. Because, um, because English. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, no, well, it's, it's a specific, I don't know if it's much as much of a problem when you're um, trying to translate sounds into other languages, but certainly for English where we uh, spell things entirely how we like at any given moment um, it can be pretty yes <laughs> you made letters for them but then we only use them half arsedly um, oh there's also a look there's a wormhole down here as well so touchstone wormhole hyper four um e except after c unless it's not absolutely so i think somewhere around here would be a good place for a base wormhole um like hest is a <laughs> it's pronounced like that but but we don't use it even though we literally made a new letter for exactly that nice so yeah i think around here somewhere is going to be a good place for a base we've got beefalo around us we can plant stuff uh we've got the touchstone i actually pronounced hest right when i said it i'm surprised um it's a funny place for a flower Yeah, so I reckon around here somewhere is going to be a good place for a base. Oh! Oh no, that's the touchstone. We knew that was there. I thought we'd found something else exciting. Unfortunately not. One of, if not the most popular, sketches in Denmark is about this. Um, let's walk on the other side and see what we can find. Have I got enough stuff to make a fire tonight? I have. I've also got some berries, but we will have to probably make traps. Um, for bunnies. Oh, I mean, that was a thing. There are some bunny holes. There's loads of bunnies here. What have we got down here? Okay. So this is where the boon was. Oh, it's night time. Hang on. Let's make a campfire. Do you reckon if I make some traps? 
We might catch the bunnies in them as they come out in the morning. We could try. Since otherwise we're largely standing around. this is what's wrong with our language which is why it's so unnecessarily hard to teach fair enough uh so we need to find some gold have we seen anywhere from whence we could get gold no So that's what we need to um, investigate for. We need to find some gold so we can build the science machine and then we can start making a proper base. Yes, rock biomes for gold indeed, but we haven't seen any Kasukin. So if you have a look round, we have not yet seen any um, rock biomes, partly because most of the map is um, savannah biome. Simply guess the weirdest. Come on bunnies. Maybe they won't come out while I'm looking. Right. We want to... Let's investigate the rest of this that we don't know anything about. Try the A sound in claw. So like, R. You're going to help clean up. I'm glad you've had a lovely day, Danish. Um, congratulations on your um, non-formation. We'll see you soon. Mm, okay. Let's see if we can find some gold today. Let's go down. Have a lovely coffee break. Oh, rock. Oh, it might not be real rock. There's more bloody savannah down here. I mean, honestly. This map's nuts. Okay, so this is going to lead back over here. Yes. Let's take this branch. No, this branch doesn't lead to anything. Just a bit of, a bit of sad times. Oh, Ooh, some berries. That's handy. We need some food. Also, probably do with making some torches. Okay. I was wondering whether that was more savannah or just the same savannah. 
Let's make a torch or two. I wish you could make bridges. we could make a little bridge across. Right, we're back here again. Well, let's try in this big area that we don't know anything about over here. More berries. Oh, mushroom ring. Uh, wormhole. <laughs> Just coffee, not actually a break. Fair enough. What color are the mushrooms? They're blue. Isn't blue the good mushroom? Coffee is snatched and a snack. Amazing. Well, they have their use. Okay, spiders. I like the green ones, but the blue are also helpful. Aren't blue health? And green are sanity. Oh, we've been down here. Let's go over this way. How many berries have we got? Eight. Yes, raw blue for health, cooked green for sanity. Berries. You're so hungry. Stop being mo- Oh, oh, it's the fortress. Tall bird fortress. Gotta know your mushrooms. Crank thing. Oh no, the tall birds are coming for me. Leave me alone, tall birds. I wasn't bothering you. Well, I found gold. I'm not sure I can get that gold. There's some. There's some that we can actually get to. Amazing. Uh, I've no idea. I've only had it like twice. We've only found the, the tall bird fortress twice. Remember that I have a lot of games that end quite quickly. <laughs> but yes, I've had the Tallbird Fortress twice now. Right, it's getting dark. Let's, uh, let's get out our torch while we make a campfire. Then we can put our torch away uh, and roast some berries. I've got some rope, haven't I? We've got some rope off the dead guy, so we should probably make a hammer. Let's do food next and then we'll do science machine if we can break it down again. Excellent. Right. Uh, if I look in tools, what do we need for the hammer? Yeah, we have all of that. So let's make the science machine. So that we can make a hammer. Can we also make the back 
backpack. We can. Oh, I've got a backpack. Nuts! Can I hammer the backpack? No, I can hammer the science machine. But I can't hammer the backpack. Oh well, we'll just have to leave it here. Since I can't even carry it. All right, tall birds. Did we, we do have a hat? Look at this. Look at us being like proper explorers. Amazing. You guys might have to ask Annabelle on another stream about how regularly the uh, Tallbird Fortress spawns. She might know. Thank you very much, Nematrek. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you again soon. I'm back on Monday with some new Oni. And then we'll go alternating from there. Uh, uh, it's raining. We don't really want to set things on fire while it's raining. Yes, new world. And then we'll do alternating days. Uh, don't starve and Oni for the rest of the month. since that was what chat voted for. I mean, I obviously have to consider how reasonable it is that I ever give chat a voice in things, but what are you gonna do? Probably not a good idea. Oh well. I need to make you all feel included. Hello, bunny. It's quite bitty down here. Like, it can't decide what biome it wants to be ever. So it's just being like all the biomes a bit weird. Oh, it's a very nice thunder effect. Oh, good. Berries. Always happy to find some berries. recommenders for a good youtuber streamer where I can learn a CK2 uh, I think I believe don't stop is a cool game to stream have some action and don't look that complex <laughs> excuse me um, I think uh, purple that I learnt the very basics of CK2 from Quill18. Thank you, Purple. 
I think Quill plays um, pretty much all, well, I know Quill plays pretty much all of those sorts of games. And I think if you look in his YouTube, you'll find some old ones um, for CK2. He's also quite good at uh, doing ones, oh, it's a second touchstone. Let's, let's let's not need to use it immediately by means of standing on the tall birds. That doesn't seem necessary. Um, yeah, I think Quill 18 might be a, a decent place to look. He's very good at explaining things uh, and very patient. But... Um, you know, like everyone, it's a matter of style and whether you get on with him. But I think he should have some. I can't swear to it. Um, but I think that's a good place to look. Certainly he plays all the Paradox games. I mean, I suppose we probably shouldn't run into graveyards in the middle of the night, but what are you going to do? Twigs? What have we got over here? Oh, let's put our sanity crown back on. Oh, I think we've been here before, have we? Do we have the crank thing or anything? Yeah, we have the crank thing. Let's have a look at the map. Yes, we have been here before. So the fortress is just above us. Uh, Quill 18. I can't remember if he's one or two L's. It might be two L's. Uh, he is... Where is he? This guy. The seems good guy is in fact Quill 18. So, yeah, he's been doing the whole YouTube and Twitch thing for a very long time, in comparison. Yeah, no, we're not going over there and bothering the tall birds and their fortress. Oh, it's dark. Where's our torch? Here. Lovely. See you, Kasukin. Have a lovely rest of your day. We've got two touchstones, Kasukin. So we've got a pretty good chance of surviving for a little while. Because that gives us two deaths. I assume there's some spiders nearby. Oh yeah, we're there. So there are spiders nearby. No worries at all. Enjoy the rest of your day, Kasuke. Do, 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 do. I can't believe how incredibly enormous this uh, savannah is. Right, so you're a bit hungry, aren't you? Also beardy now. Let's have an investigate. What's that over there? Okay, it's just another biome. I 
Hello, all the bunnies in the world. So, I sort of think that actually in here might be an excellent place to make our base. Because we've got roads all around. So if you look at this, we've got this little bit with roads all around. So we can go a lot of directions and still get back to here quite straightforwardly. We can go up here and it's not very far onto these roads, which start to connect to all of this. So I think I'd like to make my base in here. And then we've got the touchstone and the wormhole just down there as well. Plus another wormhole over there. So yes, this is going to be my base for now. You're so hungry. Well, do you know what? We will fix that. Have a fire pit. And we are going to... Oh, I don't have any logs. Ugh, nuts. All right, then. We'll just roast you some berries, then. Lovely, right? You feel a bit better. Let's go and see if we can get... Um, if there's bunnies in those traps down there. And we'll build the traps... Bring the traps back up here. I can cook seeds as well, but I want to keep them for planting. Ideally, purple. Because you don't get very much food out of them anyway, if I recall correctly. Now, down here somewhere, I set up some traps. Should be able to see them on the map, shouldn't I? Oh, there they are. Oh, well, we've got a couple of bunnies. I don't want to swap you for the rabbit. Lovely. Right. We do need some more trees. Do I have some pine cones? I do have some pine cones. So I should be able to plant some pine cones in our new base location. But we'll also have to go and look for some more trees. Here we go, base location. I am gonna plant the trees along this side of the road. No, not drop. Lovely. We'll have trees. But we do need to go and find some trees in the short term. Let's go up here. There's some trees up there. Axe. Where's my axe? There's my axe. So it's not very much up here. All right, let's go back to base.
Hmm. Let's see about that. Right, science machine. Can I make a... No, I don't have any um, charcoal yet to make a crock pot. So I don't know about charcoal. Do I want a shovel? I mean, I will want a shovel, but I don't necessarily want it right now. What will I need for a crock pot? Drying rack is charcoal and rope. I had some rope. Oh, I made some hammers, didn't I? Stone. Let's do some refinement. Well, that's fine. We can just leave it on the floor. It'll be fine. Let's also refine some stone. Which we can also drop on the floor. Is that it? Is that all the stone I can make right now? But we can make more rope. Okay. Let's, in that case, cook our morsels and eat them. Oh, sorry. Why? Oh, it's not actually night yet. I see. There we go. Right, we have these traps. trees growing. It's such a disturbing noise when the trees grow. <laughs> Genuinely is very freaky. set this trap. Thank you. Uh, did we have another one? Or is that it? That might be it. Right. Let's make another one. Good. Right, we still need more logs. So. We'll go over here. Also, as you see, I'm just trying to explore the last little bits. It seems likely, certainly, that we will survive until day seven, especially since we have two touchstones. But let us not count our chickens before we have not been eaten by them, quite frankly. some more berries somewhere. Can I imagine them? Possibly. Possibly. We should probably try and chop down plenty of trees now before um, the tree protector begins their rampage.
Oh, there's some berries. Lovely. I'd like to build a beehive. I think in this game I would like to build a beehive. I don't know how easy they are to, like, utilise. But since I can build one, I would like to. Okay. So we know quite a bit about that. Let's go and look at these couple of little um, unknown bits. Okay. Oh, and then the, this is all... Is this all C? No, there is some stuff around the sea. You need silk to craft a net and catch butterflies and bees. After that, you can start collecting the building resources. All right, okay. Oh, it must have been in the last game I picked up a bit of random silk. Uh, we can trap the spiders, though. Sometimes when you trap the spiders, they give you silk rather than um, monster meat. Yeah, there's not a lot to see down here. There's just, um, yeah, that. Fair enough. Let's go up. So yes, we could uh, try and trap some spiders. Okay, there's not a lot up here. How are we doing for time? I know it's strange, but you can literally plant the butterflies into the ground and they will turn into flowers from which the bees will collect nectar and produce honey for you. I mean, th that is some weird stuff there, quite frankly. Bunny. Almost as weird as the noise the trees make when they grow. Oh, I need to find some trees to burn down. That's what we need to do tomorrow. Tomorrow is burning trees down day so that we can make a drying rack and a um, crock pot. Yeah, I know you're hungry. Worry about it later. We will cook some rabbits for you. Well, I don't want to put the fire on until we need the fire, so. So we probably don't need to, um, like, plant any, uh, what's it? Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Grass near us. Oh, every time. Plant. Um, but we'll probably want to plant some sticks. Time for fire. Here you go. 
fire. Where are your morsels? Let's cook your morsels. Eat morsels. Let's cook your berries as well. Now you feel a bit better. <laughs> I don't want to put more fuel in that fire. It'll be fine. I might do it in a minute. I do want to drop this crank thing at some point. There you go, perfectly timed. Let's put the crank thing down. Right, let's go and set fire to some um, trees. Yeah, there's plenty over here we can go and set fire to. And we'll make some charcoal. Points time. I think it is points time, yes. I will do it shortly for everyone. Right. Oh, I set a carrot on fire. That's a shame. Oh, apparently I set myself on fire for a minute. It's not always clear to me why I set myself on fire sometimes and not others. pick up some sticks. Do, 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 do. Lovely. Once again, set a bunch of random stuff on fire. Mm. Oh, I can't eat the bird. Oh, I thought I'd be able to eat the bird. Once it got roasted accidentally. But no. All right, lovely. Eight charcoal should do for a couple of things. Uh, yeah, let's pick up the final flint and we'll harvest some of this grass while we're here. Because we certainly don't have enough grass yet. Sometimes they drop feathers and other times they drop mussels. Oh, my flower garland is over. Let's pick some more flowers. Ah, 
I like the way that the bunnies run away from fire. That seems reasonable. Were I a bunny, I too would run away from a weird beardy man wielding a fiery stick. And we don't have many stones. Let's get some stones. Oh. All right, let's make a new app pickaxe. I don't need it. Oh, I do need a little bit more flint. On this occasion, however, we'll leave the flint here. Here we go. Back to base, where we appear to have been very successful in the bunny catching. Context menus. Right, let's murder some bunnies. There should be another bunny somewhere. There it is. Let's go to the science thing. Hello, science thing. We would like to make a crock pot. Oh, let me pick this up. Have I only got two? All right, let's make some more then. Cut stone. Lovely. Crock pot. Thank you. Rock bot. Morsel. Oh, I haven't got any veg. Damn it. There's no veg to put in with my uh with my meat. Seeds maybe? Maybe I can get more. No, it won't let me cook seeds in the crock pot. What happens if I just make an all meat thing? Well, we'll try. We've got a little bit of rot and there's also manure around. So I think uh, tomorrow is digging up some berry bushes. Dogs. Thank you. Oh, you just get regular meatballs. It's me spores, but it's a waste of meat. Well, I needed to eat something. It was a waste of meat. I agree. So tomorrow we're going to go and dig up berry bushes so we don't have this happen again. And we can plant a bunch of berry bushes to go with our trees. Oh, his hat doesn't have durability, so he can just wear it while I don't have a, um, what's it? Do I have a shovel? No, I don't appear to have a shovel. So before we go anywhere, we need to make a shovel. Excellent. Well, we can't dig up berry bushes. Uh, down here? Yeah, down there looks quite good. Let's go down here. Hang on. Wrong side. Got 
more berry bushes. Let's have a look. I think the map suggested there were more down here. So we'd like to dig up some saplings. So let's do that as well. While we're having a day of digging stuff up. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect for you. Um, you know how you can't stack rabbits? I sort of expected that you also wouldn't be able to stack um, bushes. Ah, uh, now we also want to get some uh, veggies of whatever sort to go with our meals. Even if it has to be carrots. Oh, we can make a flower garland. Let's do that. Thank you. Map says there's some berries over here. Oh, look, there's some berries with actual berries on it. Amazing. many of these I need. Let's try six of each. Also like this, this, one more of those. Probably a carrot. Bushes don't struggle. That's why you can stack them. <laughs> that is a pretty funny Fidelia. Where is my lair? It's over here. Alright then, let's head to back to the lair. Can I build a drying rack as a point of interest? Yes, I, I, I know. Doesn't look like. What am I missing? I'm missing some rope. Well, I've got a bunch of rope on the ground. What if I were to put instead this rot on the ground? Uh, I do need one more rope. And now we can build also a drying rack. Excellent. Which gives us more use for these bunnies. Thank you. Murder this bunny. Right, where are we going to plant these? Let's plant them over here. I'll not drop them. One day I will learn. But apparently that day is not today. Right. Uh, we've only got a couple of bits of rot. But we'll use the ones we have. And we can go hunting for... Um, some 
uh, beefalo poop in a bit. Yes, yes, look. There you go. Cook that. And then we can, uh, as well as making uh, a little berry thing, we can also make, uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, still not learning that lesson. Uh, we can also make... Oh, I can't even remember what I was saying. Farms! That's what I wanted to make. Yes, farms. There we go. Look, our tree is fully grown. Let's hack it down. Where's my axe? No, I don't want to chop that. Quick, quick, quick. Logs, fire. Done. Eat. There we go. Oh, I wanted to put it in the crock pot, not just eat the raw morsel. You little what name? Oh well. These things happen, I guess. Let's put the carrot in there. Okay, so we're doing all right. Oh, let me, while we're standing here waiting for it to be daytime, let me pay out. Will we get past day seven? Yes. Oh, it was 50-50. Choose an outcome. Yes, we have. Complete the prediction. Enjoy your points, winners. Oh, my beard is more magnificent. Well, Maxwell's beard is more magnificent. I'm predicting death by a large accidental forest bushfire. I mean, as we know, entirely possible. Let's get some seeds. Right, let's see if we can find some poop. There were some beefalo over here. Yep. Manure. <laughs> Just wait until it's fully grown. He is so hot. I think I prefer the stage one beard, to be honest. I'm not usually about the ridiculously huge beards. But I do definitely think he looks better with stage one beard. Right, let's go and use this to fertilize our berry bushes. Oh, there's some more over there. Oh, hang on. Yes, I do hear that. I do hear that. Let's stay near base today because the dogs are coming. And uh, we'll try and get the beefaloes to eat them. Oh, here they are, right. Beefaloes, beefaloes, there are loads here. They've also been distracted by something. Oh, they're chasing bunnies. Hi. Oh, there you go. Now they've got in a fight with the beefalo. Thank you, Beefalo. No, 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 no. We're not attacking the Beefalo. We're just picking up the monster meat. No attacking the Beefalo. Oh, that was exciting. Well, that was kind of the point. I think that's like 
although we got a bit bitten on the way, that's one of the most successful um, uses of all of that we've seen, really. Oh, it's not done yet. Okay. Um, well, let's get rabbit. Can we dry the monster meat as a point of interest? I mean, the monster meat's okay if we do it in the crock pot, isn't it? Yes, but we can also dry it. Maybe we'll do another drying rack soon. It does look like maybe we could do with another drying rack. Because we don't seem to be having too many problems. Um, generating plenty of uh, rabbit meat. Right, How? what stuff are we carrying around that we most certainly don't need, for one thing? Oh, we're carrying a bunch of manure that we maybe don't need. Right, I'd like to make a farm. I can make a basic farm. What do I need for an improved farm? Nothing. Oh, I need the alchemy prototype. Can I make the alchemy prototype? No. What do I need for that? Boards? I need some more gold. Okay, so I think we'll leave the farm until um, tomorrow, probably. And we'll go and get um, some more gold. Tenth slot, you don't need the item literally until summer. The nighter. Oh, that's true. We could drop the nighter. Um... We don't need to be carrying around our sleeping roll. Um, oh, there's some bunnies we can murder. This can go on the floor and become rot. Uh, these can go on the floor, because we don't need them right now. You can also make chests. Um, yes, pine cones can go on the floor. You're so hungry. Oh, you're so whiny. Uh, oh, we didn't really manage to get any... Um, we didn't really manage to get you any uh, veggies to go in your pot, did we? Because we had a run-in with the Watsits. Um, let's use uh, some manure on these berry bushes. Because that's one of the things we wanted to pick it up for. There we go. Can I put some seeds in here? It can't go in there. What if I put one twig in there? I don't want to examine it. I want to cook it. Will that be alright? You can do one monster meat, two mussels and one berry. I mean, I don't have any mussels. We can also just cook some morsels over the fire. You can four in the backpack. Oh, morsels. You're saying morsels. Purple. Oh. I thought you were saying mussels, like the seafood. What have we got? We've got kebabs. Yeah, we can put the ashes down, can't we? Because they... Oh, they know the ashes fly away, don't they? Or do they only do that if I... Yes, loads have progressed. Ah, we also have some jerky that we can eat. Let's um, dry some more bunny. It's full moon. Oh, it's full moon. Amazing. I hadn't even noticed. <laughs> I literally hadn't noticed. I was just like... Eh. Everything's fine. Oh, 
Oh, they're sleeping. Look how cute they are when they're sleeping. Amazing. Right. Um, we needed some more gold. And gold is back down here. So... Should we jump in the wormhole and see where it takes us? We've got loads of sanity. No, I agree, it wasn't the same thing to do, but... Ah. Not too bad, though. It's brought us here. Right, up we go. Uh, let's pick up some rocks. No, we're going to do some mining, we don't need to pick up rocks. To the hang on to the left there will be gold oh there will yes you're quite right no yeah we don't really need flint We'd like more rocks, because we don't have many rocks. Let's see if there's more some more gold around. Seeds. Now there are a bunch of um uh what's it? Tall birds, I think, in here. Yes, so we we need to keep an eye out for tall birds. Because we, we don't want to uh, get in a fight with the tall birds right now. Uh, I have 40 flint, which is why I'm not picking up any more. I'm just not really using a um, slot on it. Oh yeah, we could make a spear. We should make a spear as well. Yeah, it's not that we don't need flint at all. It's that I'm thinking that I don't necessarily need the second um, stack of it. But I have just used some to make a... Uh, what's it? So now we can pick some up. What? Uh-oh. Neo? What? Uh-oh. Let's head off. We need to, if possible, find some berries on the way home. There's some up by there. Oh, you thought you heard something. Okay. We just had the dogs near. I don't know if you were here for it, but we did just have the dogs. We we successfully led them to the uh, to the uh, beefalo, beefalo, and the beefalo killed them. So that was very pleasing. I could have just picked up this gold lying on the floor, because of course I had. Why are you hungry? Ah, you're fine. Uh, berry bushes over there. Let's go over there. Another success, yes. Yes, it was probably our most successful leading them to the Mifalo that we've had yet. So that was nice. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's not go running into the tall bird fortress right now. That doesn't seem necessary. But we can pick up some berries. No, 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 it's fine. I'm not after your eggs. You, you carry on with your lives there. Not interested in your eggs. I wonder if we can get around the back of the tall birds. Let's see if we can get around the back of the tall birds. And learn about what's over here. Oh no, we can't really get around the back of them. Because what is around the back of them is uh, water. No, no, it's fine tall birds. Not interested in your eggs. I mean, I am quite interested in your eggs, but I'm certainly not going to um, 
risk it right now. Thank you. So, you carry on. I am, in general, interested in your eggs, but, um... But, uh, we'll worry about that another time, eh? going yeah you see and this is why I so many berries I know it's good isn't it and we'll plant them and use the uh... see if we want silk there's this little spider nest here that we could come and set traps for oh no I've done that there we go um, yeah let's take the other fork how dark is it getting it's only getting to twilight that's fine um, yeah, so we have all these um, roads that lead us back. We have some nice berries to put with our meats. And we can also grow more. Yeah. There you go. Get out of the way, bird. All right. Plant, no, every time. Plant, plant. Lovely, let's go and get our manure. And we can fertilize our berry bushes. Not Max fighting with berry bushes. I'm always fighting with the berry bushes. Uh, no? Right, let's open the crock pot. We've got some monster meat and we've got some berries. Let's cook those. Thanks. Uh, and apparently we've got more rabbits. We definitely want more um, drying racks. What was I getting the gold for? It was so I could build the... Um, here. Eat this. There you go. Hang on. Now we need a fire. Uh, I wanted to build the alchemy engine, didn't I? There we go. We'll do another round of cooking. Oh, it's still... Oh, it's still a full moon. You get two nights of full moon. What a waste of wood. What a waste of wood. There we go. Let's murder some bunnies. What did I want to build with the alchemy engine? Does anyone remember? Uh, I need boards and uh, blocks. Okay. Refine. Boards. <laughs> like logs, but flatter. <laughs> One, two, three, and I need some blocks. Another board, okay. Alright, so now I should be able to build the alchemy machine. Excellent. You can go... Uh, right there there. Right, now, what was it I wanted to build with the alchemy engine, though? There was something I specifically wanted the alchemy engine for. Does anyone remember what it was? Advanced fields. Thank you very much, Fidelia. I've used all my poop now, though, so I have to go and find some more. Improved farms. I'd also like another drying rack. So... These are not the trees to be burning down, but we would like to harvest a bunch of them. Um, because we're running a bit short of wood, having made all those boards. So let's chop down some of our trees. Uh, 
You see, this is interesting, because when I played by myself, I never really got into the bit of the base building. Like, I built some... What do you mean you're hungry? Oh, I made you more stuff in the, in the crock pot. There you go. I never really got into this side of it. Like, I made some farms, but, um... Obviously the basic ones aren't super good and I was like, I didn't know about the crock pot and I was just like, I don't un really understand how you go about long-term survival. So this is quite interesting to sort of get into this stage of it. You can use the shovel to dig up the trunks of trees. They regrow though, don't they? Then they regrow. No, you need to replant them. Oh, nuts. With the pine cones. All right, well, I'll do that later. Um, oh, we've got more rabbits. Is this harvest? Yes, lovely. Right, eat that. There you go. Let's put this to dry. We'll put one of these in the crock pot. We'll put this berry in with it. It's only for trees. Everything else regrows. Okay, let's find some manure. We'll leave the rabbits in their, um, in their things for a minute. Let's go and find the beefaloes again. Are they still down here? Hello, beefaloes. I think there are more beefaloes somewhere. I'm pretty sure it wasn't only this two, these two. Though I quite like that these two are here, that they live quite close to us. Uh, but I think there were more beefaloes somewhere. There you go, you see there's some more over here. You see, this is how I accidentally attacked uh, beefaloes and got murdered once because I pointed to try and pick up some manure and instead uh, the context menu changed to attack and I attacked it and then obviously they killed me in short order. Use the space bar. Ah oh, yes, good idea. Good idea. Right, is there anything else down here that we care about? to be safe. Not really, I don't think. Uh, we've got plenty of grass. Oh, there's more Mifalo. Mifalo. One day. One day. Can the space bar not trigger the attack then? Can it only trigger pickup? Because it can chop and stuff. Okay. Alright, let's go and make some farms. Indeed. F to attack something hostile. Control F to force attack on something not hostile. Fair enough. Right then. Where should we put some farms? I think we'll put them uh, down here. Oh, I might need to go to the thing. No, I need to go to this thing. There we go. Is that it? Okay. Is it worth fertilising the, um, the farms? Considering I need to fertilise these, is it worth it? Uh, let's get the rabbits, why not? Traps are very efficient, I would like to say. 
They last a long time. You get to catch many bunnies in them. I seem to be winding up with more bunnies than I can sensibly eat. So all in all, seems pretty good. Oh, I still haven't got any. When are you gonna grow? Maybe they'll grow back. I want them to grow back a bit quicker. Maybe I will fertilize this on the grounds that we could do with some veg that actually like grows. Can I build another drying rack? I'd quite like to. No, I don't have any more charcoal. Ice box. I could build a fridge. But I don't have any gears. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Did I make that? I'm gonna die. Oh. I was doing fire. It just wasn't really having it. Backpack? What's the backpack got to do with anything? Oops. You can give me a tip, Neo. You realise I might not pay any attention to it, but you definitely can give me a tip. You had a torch in my backpack. Did I? Oh, nuts. Well, the good news is that I died in my base. And my base is just here. So, like, here's all my stuff. So that could have gone worse. Yes, we have a pumpkin today. Let us harvest our pumpkin. I think I have some seeds still. Yes. Uh, do we have... We can combine those, thank you. Yes, we have some manure. I've been in the same place where I've died many times to darkness. So eventually I got used to having the torch in the rightmost slot next to your hands here. Do I have a torch right now? No, I don't seem to have one right now. Let's build one. Lovely. Let's build another one. Oh, that's fine. We can drop some stuff. I put it to the far right because frogs knock stuff out starting from the left. Interesting. So then I'm going to put this one in my backpack. Oh no, now I've got three. Right, we don't care about this. This can go on the floor because I actually want that to go off. This pumpkin needs to go in our pot. Um, how hungry are we? We're, we're acceptably hungry. That's okay. We've got loads of meat. Is this... Yes. Lovely. So we can put some... Oh, no. Don't eat it. Dry it. Oh, damn it. Eat the jerky. Thank you. Um, should we get the rabbits? Maybe. Okay. Let's organise. Let's put down the marble, because I don't think I ever need it with running around. For the same reason, I always put something like flint in the first slot, not twigs or grass, so I don't get screwed by frogs and can't make a torch. Ah, thank you. That's a very kind Neo. Um, I'm enjoying it, I have to admit. I do have loads of flint. There we go. Why don't we do flint rocks? Grass, 
twigs, logs. Put your, your flower crown on, it'll make you feel a bit better. I do want to carry the hat with me, ideally. Can it go in here? Probably. I don't want to carry the crank thing with me. Cheers. Oh, what have we got? Oh no, we've got durian, haven't we? Nuts. That's no good. I need some vegetables I can put in my crock pot. Not stupid durian. Right, I think we can just... Should we just put the fertiliser here? And then we can... It can be by all our farms. That'll be fine. Right, let's do some other work. We've got the shovel in our hand, have we? Let's dig up these tree stumps then. Oh, they make logs. That's interesting. I mean, that could be worse then. We'll pick up one log. Uh, let's just set a fire, shall we? We've got loads of logs now. We don't need to be so precious about the fire. So let's just set one. And then we can pinecone in some more trees. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> never, never will I learn. I would like to point out that in this run, we've found the second touchstone. So we still have an extra life. Which is interesting to know. You can also keep fertilizing, fertilizing the farms until they grow. Yes. That is uh, quite cool. I can't believe I can't put these on the logs. That's so aggravating. Pick up all the logs. And now plant. Oh. <laughs> Every time. Whatever. Uh, I died to the darkness again, Happy Nora, but uh, we had a... Um, we have two touchstones, so we used one of the touchstones. So we are, in fact, still alive. And it was really nearby, so we're just back in our base, and I'm trying to sort of get my base a bit, like, up and running. Oh, I've got twigs. That's nice. Hang on. It would appear my fire's gone out. Come here, you. Got plenty of fuel. Ah, I see you over there. Crock pot. Oh, I've got some stuff in it. Let's add some twigs so we can actually use this. Could I put the durian in it? Actually, I probably can, can't I? Let's stick the durian in it. It is day 12. I am also, well, I'm more being aggravated by pine cones and partially logs. Let's get these bunnies out while we're stood here. No, oh, we need to make a new one. New bunny trap. No, that's a, damn it. That's like the third backpack I've made this run. Here you go. Eat your eat your meatballs. You'll feel better. Kill a bunny and this bunny. Twelve is larger than seven. That is definitely true, Happy Nora. We definitely beat last time. Murder this bunny. Let's pick these twigs. probably do with some more twigs. We might try and plant some more twigs. Um, we seem to be doing fine for uh, logs. Oh, we've actually got some berries. Amazing. We might need some more berries though. Well, I suppose maybe not if we've got farms. I think we're going to go and get some more um, 
What's it? Manure. Uh, I think I might save this trap, to be honest. We're definitely uh, getting way more um, things than we need. Oh, let's get a lightning rod. Um, maybe not there. <laughs> let's build the lightning rod like here. Here. Yeah, that'll do. How about the prediction for a new record? Uh, we can do one if you'd like. Um, I, actually, we can't do one because I'm unlikely to um, play for long enough today to know whether it pays out. And I, if, if you don't pay out in 24 hours, I can't do the payout. So at some point, it's going to be my dinner time. So, um, I don't want to, uh, have you use your points on something that I can't pay out, if you see what I mean. I hope that makes sense. Right, manure. Let's go find some more manure. Yeah, because I won't be back till Monday, and we won't be doing, um... Oh, hang on. They've got red bottoms. Does that mean that they might attack me? Um, yeah, so we use this touchstone here. Oh, someone was saying I should hammer these. Do I have my hammer? I had a hammer. Now I've got pig skin. Yeah, they will. Safe assumption. Yeah, it, well, I mean, the, to be fair, the beefaloes don't usually attack me. Usually the beefaloes are friends. But apparently not today. So we'll have to try and sneak in and get their manure without upsetting them. Yeah, no, maybe we won't go in there. Yeah, I know, you're a bit mad. It's okay. We're going to try and keep a, a good distance from you. Uh, assumably they'll still attack the hounds. They just might attack me as well. Lovely. You can't carry any more stuff. Um, here we go. We'll put the manure on the floor again. There we go. Do I need to... No, I only need to fertilise these once then. Excellent. No, that's fine. Um, what else would we like to drop on the ground? Maybe the pig skin? I don't think I need the pig skin right now. Well, just eat your meatballs. There you go. Cook a morsel. Got that to go with it. Got one of these to go with it. Uh, the beefaloes are angry because they're in heat. They're not angry with me specifically. They're just, um, in general, angry. We believe, um, Fidelia. So yes, it, it's it's not specifically my problem, but um, it is a reason to not go too near the beefaloes today. Oh, a 
Seal Leaf Exec or EXE is raiding with party for six. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Raid Pog indeed. Oh, good grief. See, my typing is up to its normal oh, riad. What the. Hang on. Raid. No, no. The game, my keyboard is determined. Oh, there you go. Neo got it to do it. I am Max. Welcome in. We are playing some Don't Starve today. Uh, and we're doing quite well at not starving. We're doing less well at uh, not dying more generally. Because, of course, we are. Uh, what were you playing? You were playing Minecraft. Oh, lovely. There you go. Fire is on. Minecraft is one of those games that I have never got into and would like to. Let's eat these meatballs. Right, murder this rabbit. But hello, thank you so much for the raid. I'm Max. This is the Max Not Binary. We play base builders and uh, colony sims and things like that here. Um, we've been playing an awful lot of Oxygen Not Included and now we are playing another game by the same developers and this is Don't Starve. I'm playing the single vi player version. This is Don't Starve, not Don't Starve Together. Um, and I'm quite new at it, so I'm not very good at it. Hello, Small Potato. Hello, Seven Wave. Hello, Ember Two. And uh, to you, uh, Sayor Lath Exec. Amy is stupid. Hello, Raiders. Uh, where is my logs? No, it's okay. Lovely. So this is our base. As you can see, we're going okay. Um, this is probably the most developed my base has ever been. But we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Got some jerky to eat. Lovely. Yeah, starving is, is not very high on our agenda. It must be said. Other ways of dying... Oh, Minecrafty, you were in that raid, were you? Uh, probably. I'm not sure when you were last here. Um, we, it depends, did I, were we on the world with the enormous savannah? Because we've died once on the world with the enormous savannah. We had to use one touchstone. Um, but we did have a touchstone, so uh, that wasn't too bad. I wish to fetch more manure if the uh, beefalo aren't going to kill me today. No, they still might kill me. So we need to be a bit careful by the beefalo today. Because I still want to make more. Please ignore the manure on the ground. The manure on the ground is waiting to be a farm. We just have to be careful because the beefalo are in heat. And as you see, they're not their usual calm and, and lovely selves. Ah, oh, you missed it. Yes, so we're on this world. Uh, we must have... We died quite quickly last time, but we're having quite a successful game. This world has this massive savannah area, which I've made my base. We have the tall boar... It was your brother's wedding? Amazing. Um, you missed his wedding, Minecrafty. You missed your brother's wedding. Oh my lord. You're going to be in trouble. You're definitely going to be in trouble for that one. Never mind tall bird fortresses. I mean, to be fair, I also missed a bit of my brother's wedding. But only a tiny bit. And he shouldn't have had many, so many bits to his wedding, quite frankly. Right. You missed it all. Oh my god. I mean, will you be forgiven? What's up with my plants? 
Why have they gone sticky? Right, I would like to make a another improved farm. Max and Brother special stream. I don't think so, no. Uh, we don't live anywhere near each other and I can't imagine he would want to uh, be on the internet. But yes, definitely a big oof. Um, Minecrafty. Definitely a big oof. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely producing more food than I need, in fact. We're definitely producing more meat than I need. Right now we're working on vegetables. Like, we've got more, we've got more bunnies than we know what to do with. Uh, but we're definitely working on vegetables so that we can, um, we can use our crock pot effectively. Though I think possibly we should just put meat in the thing. Also, uh, I think we want to build another drying rack. What did I need for the other drying rack? It was... Oh, charcoal and some rope. Well, we can make rope pretty easily. Um, but we will need some charcoal, so let's go and find some trees to burn down. Hello, Danish. Welcome back. So yes, thank you to all the raiders for coming across, and um, for Minecrafty for potentially... Uh, were you responsible for leading them here? Yes. Oh, well, thank you so much for bringing the raid to me. That's very kind of you. Ah, I've set myself on fire again. Hang on. I mean, that's a surprisingly regular way that I die, is I set myself on fire. Can I unequip this? Oh, no, no, no. Unequip that one too. Thank you. That's what I want to equip. <laughs> You're playing CK2 with the animal kingdoms turned on. I asked if she could raid you, but that is very, very kind of Minecrafty and very kind of um, Swale EXE to agree. You might need some of the DLC purple mix. It is a bit dark, but that's alright. We're going to head back. We're going to head back. Here we are. So we've also got plenty of wood these days, so I'm just going to start the fire up and not worry. Let's make a drying rack. Oh, I don't have any rope yet. Let's do some refinement for some rope. Um... Where can we put our other drying rack? There we go. We'll put it on the other side of our crock pot. <laughs> After 200 hours, you will no longer be a noob and be given the uh, newbie badge. Yeah, that sounds like most Paradox games. Ah, right. Let's... Let Wilson eat his meatballs. Good. Right. More morsels in here. We'll hang some on a drying rack. Uh, I've got a carrot. Oh. Wilson. All right. Okay. We have 450 hours. Oh, my thing's gone out. Why can't I add fuel? Oh, I see. It literally... 
Like, you can't add fuel when it gets dark. That seems cheaty, but okay. Uh, let's hang some more meat out. What's in the crock pot? Right, okay. I can add some pumpkins. Cook this. Why am I holding my torch? I didn't equip the torch, thanks. There we go. So we have some pig skins. Someone was saying something about making a helmet? If I had pig skins? Oh, there's a beefalo hat. Bush hat, winter hat, top hat. Dapper vest. Oh, maybe it's in survival. Is it a um, miner's hat? Pumpkin lantern. Lantern. No. Oh, that's in fire. Piggy back. Carries a lot, but slows you down. Football helmet needs... I don't know, I'm not talking to you. Um, tent? Do I want a tent? Retours, strategy, but costs time and hunger. Pretty parasol, umbrella, net, fishing rod. Fishing rod? Go fishing for fish. Where is this hat, people? It's under fighting. Ah. Spear handbat. Football helmet. Oh, well, we can definitely build that. Protect your brain case. Let's build one of these. So we have some pigskin. We can definitely refine some rope. No, refinement. Rope. We do need to harvest some more grass, but that should be fine. Um. And we should be able to Oh, we need the alchemy thing. I have the alchemy thing. There we go. No, I never figured out what the divining rod was. And uh I think we might know where the um where the thing is. Um, right, okay, so we don't need any more meat, so we'll just leave the bunnies under there. Um, I might eat the jerky. We need to plant some more seeds. Uh, I actually have some rot that I can be using for um, fertilizer. I think the manure is a much better fertilizer. It appears. I don't know if anyone has any thoughts about that, but it definitely seems like it's better. My meat's going off. Should I just cook it all? I'm gonna just cook some more meat because I have so much meat. Uh, apparently, yes don't starve is pretty hard. I've been finding it quite complicated. I don't know, I haven't been finding it complicated, but like in a very oni, in a very clay way, they don't bother to really tell you anything about it, Life of Steel. So you just sort of have to dive in and give it a go. I haven't found it too stressful. I found it quite enjoyable, but then I'm very relaxed about dying. I think that, you know, you do have to be someone who is completely unbothered. Where did the... Oh, here they are. Don't wander off too far. Oh, they've got a baby one. Baby beefalo. Love it when they're a baby beefalo. Um, so yes, 
I can't, I'm not really doing anything important right now. I need to pick a new goal in a minute. So in a minute, we're gonna pick a new thing to do. One thing we're gonna do is murder this rabbit that I'm apparently carrying around with me. I'd like to make some more farms, because we're still... <laughs> no, you're definitely getting one or the other. I think, I, I think I've seen that mode, and you just get one or the other. Alright. No, it's alright. I'm not going near your baby. Just want your manure. You reckon it's going to be a dragon egg? We'll see. Oh, I haven't got enough. Damn it. I wonder if I had an extra bit back here. Did I have an extra bit back here? I did. Excellent. That should mean that we can uh, make a another farm. Which I would like. Posture check. <laughs> Your son married a red panda and got both red panda and dragon eggs. Amazing. There we go. Let's fertilize that. Let's not die. No. Not die. There we go. Harvest the crock pot. Oh, apparently I had some meatballs in my inventory already. Wow. Uh, meat. I haven't got any veggies. Is there any... No, we don't have any veggies. These are not ready. We could fertilise them. What am I hearing? Dogs. It is dogs. Right, okay. Well, watch out for the dogs coming. Oh, nuts! Right, I need a torch. We're gonna need a torch, because if the dogs come now, it's gonna be a pain. Yes, I do hear that, thanks. Yep. Here they are. Yeep! Hello. Beefalo! Where have you gone? Oh, nuts. You used to be over here. Beefalo, right, beefalo. Oh, that wasn't the eyes of a beefalo. Look, there's beefalo. Look, they're coming for your baby, beefalo. Beefalo, they're coming for your baby. There you go. There you go. See? Coming for your baby. Ah, right. Okay, I, th I think we've sorted this out now. <laughs> Thank you, Beefalo. Very well done. Yeah, I'm enjoying living with the Beefalo. I might, I might make the Beefalo hat so I can be part of the herd at one point. I like the beefalo. Oh. Right then. But having a uh, torch last slot. 
having uh, defeated the dogs again. Uh, no, we'll carry on a tiny bit. We'll carry on a tiny bit. Do I need some food? No, nah, not really. Not really. We're sort of all right. My dragon egg liege sent me a letter requesting me to be on a council. <laughs> a two-year-old dragon egg. Right. What should we do next, chat? What should we do next? Should we go and see if we can trap some spiders for some silk? We need to prepare for the next challenge. I mean, I don't know what the next challenge is. So, I mean, I can't necessarily do that. I think I think we might want the fridge. Maybe the fridge would be useful. Someone catch you up on the past few hours. Uh, Pixelied Frey, don't worry about Neo and uh, Danish and Purple. They are having a conversation about a different game that they are both playing. So um, don't worry about that. If that is confusing you, it is not a problem. Uh, maybe we could do with, like, a fridge. Because maybe food will become more scarce or something. You'll be right back. Alright then. I definitely like a fourth farm. What do we need for the ice box? Gears, yeah, but I haven't even seen any gears. Would be what I'd say is the slight problem there. I haven't really even seen any gears like in the playthroughs that we've done. I think I've seen them once before, like in a playthrough off stream. Have you seen things you think, oh, they could drop gears? Have we seen them in this playthrough? I mean, everyone always told me to run every time I went near them. And my avatar on Steam doesn't count. Um, I don't think we've seen them in this playthrough, is the answer. What do we know about in this playthrough? All right, we need to go and do some adventuring then. So, I think what we need to do is we want to, we've got some meatballs. Let's carry on making food. Oh, you are cooking, are you? Cook. Um, we'll carry on making food. We'll store some food up and go uh, exploring. I don't like the fact that it sometimes doesn't combine stuff in your inventory. That's very annoying. You should have a small base with a little bit of food and a fire in each one. Each one of what? Like all around? I mean, maybe? Let's put some nightmare fuel on the ground. We don't really need it. Or at least not right now. What have I made? Oh, I've made monster lasagna. Oh, I think I think I had durian in with the um thing, nuts. I thought monster lasagna was bad for me, and it um lowered my sanity. 
you can get out of my berry bushes, mister. Oh. That's so annoying. Uh, alright. I will certainly have a stretch. I mean, you've got the torches, so as long as you've got the stuff to make torches or a, uh, thing, you should be right. And we can carry some food. Let's eat the, uh, monster lasagna and see how that goes. Hmm. Yeah. Didn't like monster lasagna too much. Let's harvest the drying racks. Right, let's also restock the drying racks. Oh, hang on, it's nearly night time. Let's not muck about. There we go. Got a cool hat now, though. Um, right, we don't really need this nitre in our inventory, so let's drop that. What's in our crock pot? Wants to meet, so we're just waiting for some more veggies. Okay. Appear to have a spear. I feel I probably should have a spear. Can I make one? Where's the spear? Is the spear in fight? Might be. Oh, I need some rope. Hang on, I can make rope. Let's make a spear. We should have one of these. Uh, okay. Good. Berries. The berry bushes are doing quite well now. But I think I heard they don't grow in the winter. Right. No worries. Thank you again, Minecrafty, for bringing the raid to me. Um... No worries at all. I will be back on Monday. I hope to see you again soon. Right. Where are we going to go? We're going to go do some adventuring. Lovely. Let's take this with us. There we go. Got some dried meat. We've got some stuff. Let's go adventuring. Uh, let's learn about what's above first, because that's nice nearby adventuring. Oh, look, we could, um, let's fill up the crock pot just before we go away. No worries. You hold on to your percentage and um, we will see you again soon. Wait, I mean, are you just trying to get me to attack you? Right, let's go exploring. I mean, this whole map is Savannah, I tell you.
Okay, top of the map. What about this way? Not a lot to see up here, to be honest. Okay, so that's just another massive bit of savanna up there. Well, <laughs> let's try around here. We'll see what we can find. Apart from bunnies. I mean, this map is absolutely crawling with bunnies. Oh, there's a road up here. Hello, bees. The king threw your brother that's still an egg out of the window. That seems harsh. I have to say, seems harsh. Let's pick some flowers. It should be good for our sanity. Also, maybe we can make a little sanity hat at some point. Well, now I'm the duke. Oh, well. It's an eye bone! Hello, Chester! Oh, no, I attacked the bee! Oh god, run, Chester, run! I didn't mean to attack the bee. Alright, they, they seem to have calmed down. Sorry, bee. How are we doing for torches? Let's make another torch. Thank you. Right. Come on, Chester. We're going exploring. going on with this road okay bye purple have a fantastic rest of your day hope to see you again on monday when i stream next Right, let's make you a little sanity hat. There you go, see so you have Chester. You most certainly can carry more stuff. Because we have Chester. Where are we? Okay. <clears throat> so we haven't really found anything very useful on our little explore yet. We'll carry on. You're hungry? Oh, well, just eat some meatballs. We brought loads. We brought a literal solution to this problem. Must be something somewhere to find. 
as opposed to just more trees all the time. We found a wormhole. I wonder where it goes. Let's go back to the edge because that's a, a worthwhile sort of exploring that we can do at night. Learn about where the edges are. <laughs> I can just hear Chester behind me. There we go. Day time. Okay. What have we learned? Not a lot. Let's carry on and see if we can learn something now. And I think for tonight we'll head back again. So we've done we've done quite a nice bit of scouting. We've learnt some things. And then we'll head back to base again. I think this was sort of my experience of Don't Starve a lot when I started playing. I'd just sort of wind up in like random places being like, okay, so there's stuff. Is this a different road? I think we know about this road. Yeah, we do. What is in the interior? Bees. Which hopefully this time I will not attack. Is there anything over here that isn't bees? Just bees. Mostly just bees. I mean, we have found Chester, so it certainly hasn't been a wasted trip. I've got to say that finding Chester is pretty good. But there doesn't seem to be much else up here. So... Yeah, let's follow this road. I think we can safely say that this is now our new record in terms of uh, survival, which is pretty good. Oh. Okay, so that's like a big lot of not very much, as far as we can tell. Where is home? Over here. All right, let's head home. Hello, bunnies. You can't carry any more stuff. Pick up some more meatballs. Um, drop these petals. 
No, I don't eat them. Oh, nuts. Right. How did you get Chester? You pick up the um, eye bone. And it's Chester's eye. And then Chester follows you. Right then. I am going to call that a day for today. It's been lovely. But I've been live for six hours. And that's a pretty long time for me. So I will be back on Monday. When we're going to do some oxygen not included. Um... I have some ideas, but I have not yet entirely decided what we're going to do. So, come back for that. And then it will be more Don't Starve again on Tuesday. I'll be back at uh, about 3pm British summer time. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here and sharing in this thing. Thank you for the bits and the raid and for the chats and being around um if you'd like to support the channel watching is the best thing that you can do but you could also support by subscribing um oh let's pause the game while i do this <laughs> subscribing is cheaper if you live anywhere that is not the uh in not, not north america pretty much and um you can also subscribe with Amazon Prime or Prime Gaming if you already pay for those lovely you can also donate there's a link come and join us on discord there is a channel for oxygen not included there's one for um, don't starve as well you can also watch previous broadcasts on YouTube have a lovely rest of your day everyone let's have a look and I will see you tomorrow, not tomorrow, I will see you on Monday. Have a lovely day. Bye.